It's your boy Speedy, and you are listening to the best of the Rollout Morning Show with Speedy and Friends. It's the best, man. <laughs> say it, man. What'd you say, T-Turn? Remix. I really want to fuck your home, girl. I really want to fuck your home. You know I really want to fuck your home, girl, 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 girl. girl. Say what? I really want to fuck your home, girl. Yeah. I really want to fuck your home. I really, really want to fuck your home, boy, girl. Boy, girl, boy, girl. Y'all ain't shit. Girl, no, oh. Mind, you have no, fear. no fear. Can I stick my dick in you, my dear? Uh, Maybe. Uh, uh. I'm all alone, sitting right here by my phone. My heart is broken now, believe me, girl. Woo! Woo! Uh huh. And your homegirl just right here. What? I see you, T-Turn. Are you trying to get in on that? Fuck uh-oh, it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Really Guys ain't shit. We cool. <laughs> Here it comes. And this is what all the niggas do that they scared to tell their homies. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to fuck your home, girl. I really want to fuck your home. You know I really want to fuck your home, girl. girl I can do girl, a girl. better. Oh, I want to go up in your home, girl. I really want to fuck your home. Woo! You know I really want to fuck your home. Girl, 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 girl. Uh, it's the roll out show. No well, we ain't shit early in we'll the morning. I want to we'll get between her thighs. Uh-huh. I, I want to buzz it all the time. <laughs> 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 There's some dudes doing. Nigga, that would be a good song. <laughs> <laughs> it's the roll out show right here on the Fox Show with Speedy and Friends and Ivy. Speedy. Mm-hmm. Up in this. Beach. Beach. In the building we got. Tyron Turner. In the building we got. Mark Howard. In the building we got. Kanisha Bus a bus. In the building we got. TDP Mr. One to Three Knocks, baby. Baby. DJ always, always in your ears. Yeah. And joining us here in the lair. Who we got? Teeter. Is it DJ Paul? It may be. Oh! It looks like him. Three, six. Legendary. Legendary. In the game. (laughs) Change the game. Yeah. the damn thing. that trick better. Hey, can we cuss on him? (laughs) Hell no. no. Hell no, man. You better not motherfucking cuss. It's a clean Uh, show up here, man. We got motherfucking (laughs) kids. We represent (laughs) Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, it is kids watching this. I mean, listening to this. The kid is watching this shit. But they cuss, too. They on mushrooms. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I see them, daddy. (laughs) True. Grammy award winner. Oscar. Oscar. Hey, man, I wish I did. Did have a Grammy, man. They didn't even give us one. You get a Grammy before you get the Oscar? Oh, no, man. Oh, wow. That's how they do it, nigga, man. That's how you they know, do it, that's nigga. cold. Huh? So the same thing. <laughs> how surprised were you Were you guys when they called you nigga? Oh, man, we were super surprised. I mean, I was more surprised when they told us we was nominated. Okay. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, that was the crazy part. But when we won, you know, that was like unbelievable. Like, holy shit. I mean, you, you probably saw it. We yeah, I did. Yeah, I couldn't places. believe it. Like, yeah. n- n- like some monkeys up in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why we don't want to give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> the enthusiasm. Like, I, I knew them niggas was going to act a fool. I told you. Is it too late to take it back? All right, all right. Now, did all of you guys get a trophy? Or just one? I, one? I, was, I was three writers, so all three of us got them. That's, that's sweet. sweet. They heavy as fuck, ain't they? Yeah, they're like 10 pounds. Yeah, wow. Well, place. I heard you hide yours in a very uh, unique place. I seen it in an interview. View. Yeah, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm a black man, so I put, I do like everybody else, black do. I put it in a crown roll bag. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Buried it, motherfucker. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I, I took out, I took out my marbles from when I was a kid out of my crown roll bag, and I put it in there. Sweet, <laughs> sweet. Your trophy. They took OJ trophy. TJ Paul in the building. <laughs> yeah, they did take OJ trophy. <laughs> Three six. Mark. Now, are you guys gonna get back together and uh, do another album? Or? Come on. Oh man, I don't know, man. You know, maybe one day. You never know what the future holds. You know, reunions are in now. Yeah, the reunions. The Spice I, I, Girls I are coming back. Hey, they are? Yeah. Hilarious. I hey. saw that this morning. Yeah, Jodeci's back. I'm yeah. coming back, yeah. too, in the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Whether they join the you spice. or not. Are you going to be Crown Royal Spice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just put this hey, bag kinda, in your pussy. I <laughs> kind of did a reunion, though. I kind of did a reunion where we uh, did, um, where I reunited all the old members and uh, called it the Mafia Six. We mm-hmm. actually just brought an album out uh, this month. But uh, when we originally did it two years ago, we had everybody on there. Juicy was on the song, and Eric, the whole rest of the group was on there. Juicy wasn't in the group, but you know he came on and did a feature with us, Project Pat, and all that. So okay. it's kind of it's a mm-hmm. somewhat of a. 85% reunion. Why y'all Reunion-ish. break up? Why'd y'all break up? Oh, man. Shit, we've been together for 25 y'all years. Y'all want an Oscar and break up, though? 
Well, no, we didn't really. We <laughs> no, didn't, the, did the, the group had stopped breaking off before that because we okay. started in like ninety one. Right, 90. I remember. Right. Yeah, I know. People don't even be with their parents for twenty five years. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let alone a couple of somebody days. got to move out. <laughs> yeah, eventually, somebody got to go. So you know, just over the it's years, it, it got down to three. And then when we win the Oscar, when we won the Oscar, funny part about it is when we won the Oscar, one dude actually did leave the group Damn. right after the Oscar. Should have been two what? six mafia then. <laughs> yeah, it was two six mafia. Right. He just up and left, and he never explained why he left. He was just like he was just tired. Wow. Now yeah. you guys had the show on. It was an MTV. Yeah. Oh yeah. Which I love that shit because y'all yeah, was doing Hollywood. Man, that shit yeah. was funny as fuck. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's how much of that was really y'all, or did somebody like, oh, y'all need to I mean, do this? All, all of it was as it was us, except um, they would, you know, how reality shows go; they'll put you in scenarios, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right? But there wasn't no scripted words, or, that shit was you know, do fun. this, you know. It, we were just so like, I mean, they, you can't really write in a script, move in a house in Bel Air, and cook chitlins in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that's just nigga shit that we was doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a big ass pot. Don't smell that bad when you pull a membrane out. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> they don't smell that bad when you're at the top of my hulling because nobody else smell them. <laughs> <laughs> they got some hell of a weed over there. <laughs> that that Memphis Memphis weed. weed smell like pig shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, that's the, you ain't heard of that? Nigga, that's that motherfucker. It must nigga. be a new fertilizer. <laughs> that's that sticky, Iggy, Iggy. That Miss Piggy, nigga. Pig, pig, Miss Piggy, Iggy, Wiggy, Sticky. <laughs> Piggy, Sticky. Now, during that week when you have the Oscar and you do that little run, you gotta meet everybody. Who was the one person you guys met that you were like, damn? Well, we won Oscar. You, well, during that week, because you know you get to go to all them parties and. Oh yeah, um, man, I met John Travolta on the elevator right after I won it. That was pretty cool. Wow. Oh yeah, and I was like, man, fuck, Grease Lightning! Is right <laughs> Grease Lightning is right here. Grease Lightning is right here. Grease Lightning, go. Grease what, what did he say? What did he say? And he was just, man, I'm proud of y'all guys, man. Congratulations, congratulations. He was cool, man. We met everybody, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Grease um, I met um, um, uh, George Clooney. That was real cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. And they put me at the table with him during the Oscar luncheon. And that was real cool. I was like, man, you know, I was just telling him about how I started getting to I was like, man, you, if you fucking owe me a lot of money right now. He's like, what? I was like, I was sitting at the house high one night watching Dust to Dawn. Hilarious. And I saw these tattoos you had on your neck and arm and all that. And I left that same night high and got tattoos. And I ain't stopped since. <laughs> <laughs> now look at you. You ain't got no tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was magic marker. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? He just laughed. He just laughed. <laughs> yeah, because I, I had a chance to hang out with Fox when he got his. And, uh... <sighs> That that was a, yeah, that was the thing when you get to meet all the people that you like saw you from Memphis. So I yeah. know seeing all that must have been yeah. like what the fuck. Yeah, well, speaking of Jamie, uh, the the cool part about it is, uh, you know, I was like, well, that was the first time I ever performed sober in my life. Wow. <laughs> you know, because usually when we do our concerts, we'll have you know a bed of the vocals behind, mm-hmm. so you hide and you miss a word or two. It's yeah, pretty much it's still, still there. there, still there. And plus, it don't matter in the clubs that I perform at. Mm-hmm. But now if you perform performing at the Academy Awards and they like it's gonna be totally live vocals I'm like holy shit so I didn't get drunk I did take one shot of vodka before I went out there but anyway when I was performing we was performing I was like man you know like it's kind of different to tell if they into it because ain't nobody throwing chairs or nothing (laughs) (laughs) motherfucker So, you know, when somebody ain't throwing a chair at one of my concerts, it might seem like they probably ain't into it. Right, right, right. So uh, I looked down at uh, Jamie Foxx. He was down like in one of the first row, one of the first of two rows. And he looked at me, he threw his thumb up. And I was like, okay, we're doing pretty good. (laughs) Then I looked over there at Charlize Theron, and she was smiling. I was like, okay, so there is a change. Okay, right, right. Nice. That was it. That's dope, man. Um, Have you been back since? Because once you uh, win, you get to come back every year, right? Well, they say that. You know, but, <laughs> <laughs> I you get the vote exclusive, right? and he get to vote. Yeah, yeah I do get, get the, I do get a chance to vote, and I get all the little movies and shit. Right, right. But uh, but to get back in, you had to. Uh, I think you had to kind of. They say you had to be on like a list, and they had to kind of nominate you to come back. It's kind of oh, really? kind of weird. You can't just show up. Weird. No, you can't just show up. Wow. Sure, sure, with the like with the Oscar hand. in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, get out of here, man. It was nine years ago. Go, <laughs> go somewhere now. Go somewhere, fool. Call police on yeah. <laughs> 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 you. 
I think we found Chris Christopherson's old one day through. They're going to be like, you know, matter of fact, uh, you know, matter of fact, why well, you got to give me that right, back? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking for you anyway. <laughs> give me that motherfucker back. That's why we bury him. <laughs> Put him in a Crown Royal bag. Crown Royal uh, bag. So you did some other um, show, like the VH1, you had the famous, uh, the famous food uh, uh-huh. that was on there. And I see that you have a line of barbecue spices. Yeah, so what happened with that? I'm, don't think Memphis, I'm, don't think I'm about texting. I'm really tweeting the show out, telling them. Oh, listen. thank you, brother. Oh, yeah. I, I know they're like this nigga had texting and everything. <laughs> well, sure. But now what happened was, uh, um, I put. Uh, I always try to uh, uh, get us TV shows, so mm-hmm. I take my own little camera and film little goofy shit that we do. That's how we got to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I want to do a cooking show. And I was like, I can see myself on the Food Network one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm be the first motherfucker on there with gold teeth. Right. And uh, the weed, huh? Yeah. And weed. <laughs> well, making uh, weed brownies with fucking <laughs> red or But um, I, I, uh, I made us a little reel just at the house, just um, with just a little handheld camera at the house and uh, acting a fool and making food and food fighting and acting just mm-hmm. a donkey. We said to obviously the Food Network was like, man, niggas, you crazy. <laughs> like, come on, now. We, 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 we got we let the Neelys on here, and that's about as hood as it's going to get. Okay, okay. But uh, they was like, no. So I was like, we shopped it for like eight months, and finally uh, VH1 was like, we'll do it. Oh, really? And I was like, all right. So um, they made this big-ass fucking budget. They gave us a, a quarter million dollars. We shot this pilot and uh, about me and Juicy going to... Um, these uh this white family house and uh juicy kind of babysitted the kids while i taught the mom how to cook dinner for okay. the uh in-laws <laughs> and the in-laws came over and they was like oh this is the first good meal you ever cooked in your fucking life you fucking loser <laughs> <laughs> anyway so um they looked at the show the show came out funny as fucking then all of a sudden they changed their mind it was like you know what we don't want to uh, do nothing in the cooking world right now you know, Food Network got that locked down. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Got to keep the money, though. Yeah, you got to keep the money. Yeah. So uh, next thing I know, eight months later, they call us. And they like, we got an idea. And I'm like, now what, man? And they was like, we don't want to do a cooking show with you, but we like the way you do all that. So would you ever want to open up a restaurant? And I was like... Fuck yeah, free food and free whiskey, hell yeah. 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 <laughs> Shit, I can feed all these fucking chicks. It'd be cheaper, but uh, hilarious. <laughs> so um, I was like, I was like, goddamn right. So they were like, we got an idea for a show. We're gonna put you and some other celebrities in a empty uh, building, and I want I want y'all to turn it into a restaurant from scratch. You know, the rest, the, the name, the menus and recipes and all that. And I'm like, fuck it, let's go. And uh, they put us on there, and, you know, I end up winning the restaurant, me and Danielle Stiles from um, the Housewife show. Right. So uh, wow. that was cool. And, man, we fucking partied every day. The restaurant stayed open about six months, and then it was over with. <laughs> <laughs> Where was it at? What, lo- what location? It was, uh, it was on Sunset in Sunset Plaza. Oh, yeah, right there, yeah. Oh, you uh-huh. know what Equinox at? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, that used to be my restaurant. Oh. But, <laughs> wow. Equinox was on the front. It was always on the back side. Right, you know? right, the right. The front side was Ketchup Restaurant. Okay. And it was Ketchup back in the day. And then uh, we turned it to my restaurant, uh, Lemon Basket. And we stayed over probably about eight months. But it was too many owners and this and that, and you know everybody, you know. Just, they said a restaurant ain't no joke. Yeah. That's hard. Man, that's hard. And then our rent was twenty thousand a month on Sunset, oh, yeah. man. Cause we right there, Sunset oh, Plaza, Plaza. Yes, sir. like almost by the Beverly Hills sign down there. Yeah, man. Right. It, was, it was crazy. And then we was upstairs. We couldn't have valet parking because. That's right there where you come across where the st- street splits up, mm-hmm. right there, kind of by Chin Chin yeah, and yeah. all that. So it wasn't enough room for people to pull over and park in front of and valet. So we couldn't have valet. You had to go down the street and park in the garage and walk and then oh, come no. upstairs. And way ain't gonna do much. all that no. shit. Yeah, it was just way too much, man. So um, they was like, they was like the the owners, the the, on, the other owners with me. They was like, Paul, we finna, you know, we thinking about closing up the restaurant unless you wanna. Keep it open out of your own pocket. And I was like, "How much you said it is?" And it's like twenty thousand a month, not including the employees and food. I said, "Shut this motherfucker down." <laughs> <laughs> right. if, if, we, if you don't hurry up, <laughs> <laughs> give me a plan. Take twenty thousand dollars, move back to Memphis, and buy a whole block of restaurants. I can buy Bill Street. Right, 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 right. And get you a to-go plate. Yeah, too. put a Chinese <laughs> restaurant, a hot dog spot, a pizza spot, and everything on one. Man, hell no. So uh, we closed it down and. 
And that was it. But from it, mm-hmm. I, I, how I won the restaurant is I made this um, this macaroni dish. Uh-oh. And see, I had told him, I was like, I want to make a soul food dish. And they was like, uh, uh, Paul, this Hollywood. This ain't Memphis. Ain't nobody going to eat soul food. And I'm like, man, people eat soul food yeah. here. I'm yeah, like, don't yeah. let these motherfuckers right, fool you. Right, yeah. right, right. I said, motherfucker, I, I said, I was just at Baby Blue's Barbecue on... Santa Monica and uh, Brooke Shields was up in that motherfucker and she still looked good <laughs> yeah. with a big old ass tall yeah. about yeah. six feet or some shit mm. so I was like they eat it you know what I'm saying they probably just go throw the shit up afterwards right. and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway he was they didn't want to try that because of the style of restaurant we was opening so I said he was like, what was your idea? I said, well, I wanted to have some ribs, some macaroni and cheese, and some cornbread. You know, all that's right. pretty much all I wanted. I ain't asked too much. And he's like, we can't do it, Paul. And I was like, all right, I got an idea. I took some, instead of pork, I took some beef short ribs, mm-hmm. and I made up that uh, dry rub, and I put it on them, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, grilled them, uh, shredded them, broke them down. Mm-hmm. I took some macaroni uh, noodles and four different cheeses uh-huh. and um, cooked it all together, mixed the meat with it, and then took some uh, panko and some cornbread and sprinkled it on the top. Uh, what is and panko? It in. It's like a a, a, a Japanese style of of uh, of, of um, uh, uh, that you fry with. Okay, like okay. that. So um, sprinkled that on the top with some cornbread, threw it up under the broiler and crisped the top. And then I was like, Hey, there you go. You got a whole soul food plate. You don't need and one thing. It's just a, a macaroni dish, but it got all of the shit inside of it. And I put some jalapenos in there. And that's when uh, Ron Artest was still playing for y'all. And, man, he came by there, man. He must have bought about 10 of them. He brought right. his whole family through there, man. And that's how I won the restaurant because everybody fell in love with They call it DJ Paul Memphis Mac and Cheese. Uh, like <laughs> DJ Sweet. Paul Memphis Mac, Mac and Cheese. cheese. They want to get that? Call it. Well, don't call it. No. You ain't going right to get that shit. Now, right from now. that, that's how I made the barbecue rub. Okay. So that's how I started balling that and all that shit. Well, you from Memphis. Everybody from Memphis yeah. know how to do that. I, I want to learn how to do a rub. I can't, I can't never get the seasonings right. I put yeah. too much. You can that's barely what, rub lotion she on said. shit. <laughs> she said he couldn't rub it right because he couldn't get the seasoning right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bitch, what the right. fuck seasoning got to do with the way I'm rubbing you? Yeah. <laughs> he's not a cook. He's an eater. <laughs> Somebody got to do it. <laughs> rub this shit in my mouth. <laughs> How you rub these ribs on your gums? (laughs) (laughs) It's the rollout show right here on Fox. So, yes, DJ Paul in the building, Memphis. Yes, sir. How often do you go back home? Oh man, uh, um, I probably go like once every two months. Oh okay. Oh, you done changed. <laughs> hey, hey what, what, you, you remember Robin Harris? He like they asked me if you make some money, you gonna change? You got that <laughs> right. I'm gonna change. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna stick around here for. I gotta do the right thing. All right, all right. <laughs> if I got a chance to live in Beverly Hills versus uh, South Memphis, I think I'm gonna pick Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. South Memphis. <laughs> now, how bad was it where you grew up? Oh man, it's real bad, man. It was real bad. I side the side of town where I grew up. It was called Black Haven, and um. It had the first uh, uh, gang killing mm. in the whole city. You know, uh, we was uh, walking home one day, and uh, all of us was, you know, messing around and stupid and shit when we was young. And this uh, cheerleader in the ninth grade was walking home. She didn't have nothing to do with this shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, these uh, uh, dudes rolled by, shooting at uh, some some friends of mine, and missed them, and shot the girl through the throat and killed her. Mm. And it was, it was all over the news. This is crazy. And then, you know, after that, it was just, you know, just Damn fighting it. and shooting Man. and shit all over the place. But, I mean, even before that, Memphis was, was bad. You know, Memphis always. Y'all always good. on First 48. Oh man! Oh, oh, man. oh man! And they always the same thing. Dude, come in. I ain't telling you shit. <laughs> and they leave him in that room. They put that coke in there. He start drinking the coke when he come back. <laughs> so yeah. it was Ronald on twenty third. It, it yeah. was me and James yeah. and I shot. I'm like nigga. Yeah, they like leave a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Motherfuckers break like, down. Look, man, we gonna leave a pack of cigarettes, a Bible, <laughs> and a fucking uh, 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 goddamn it, a DVD of a. Reverend or something. <laughs> yeah, it's called the snitch kit. <laughs> the but snitch but what they kit. don't what they don't show you is like you watching first four eight the show is on for an hour. They might catch him in like the first 15, 20 minutes uh-huh. of it. You know, so it's like, you know, uh, the 30, 40 minutes left on the show. They don't show you that they had this nigga in this cold ass room for like twenty four hours. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. right. 
checking back in every now and then. You cold? You ready to say something? Yeah, you ain't ready to talk? All right, man, let's go. Motherfucker, come back in on that last hour. He in there leaking like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I, just want, I just want, I just want, nigga, fuck. <laughs> Only shot one time. <laughs> yeah. And they, they always get you because they always make you believe that you the good guy. Yeah. 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 And you, you just cut a little baby head off and be like, the baby was crying too much once. <laughs> I mean, I know how it is, man. If my baby cry a lot, you know, I want to cut his head yeah. off, too. He be like, he was crying so fucking much. And I was watching World Star, and I couldn't hear what the fuck he was saying. DJ Paul, give me your hand. I'm here for you. Give me your hand. I'm here for you. Give me your hand, Paul. I'm here. <laughs> and then they be like, and then it be like, they be like, it's fine, man. It's fine. All right, life. Get this nigga. Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> right when they walk. They take all yeah. the cigarettes. Everything. Yeah. yeah. The cigarettes back. The one in your mouth. <laughs> the babble. It's like man, I can't have the babble. No. Nope. You just told me I'm finna get that. That's for the next snitch. Yeah. That's for the next <laughs> nigga, we got two more. We got four more episodes yeah. in the season. I need that babble. Oh yeah, goddamn <laughs> Babel. A and E only paid for one Babel. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Low budget. It's in the budget. <laughs> they cut the babies out. I was trying to watch World, World Star. World Star. World Star. <laughs> he was too loud. <laughs> I know, I know. I didn't want to come up in here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I watch World Star too. <laughs> yeah. To look for other motherfuckers <laughs> like you. <laughs> like, I found you on World Star. Fucking like, hilarious. Man. Oh, I Real am shit. done. <laughs> now we're doing uh, uh, it's Throwback Thursday. Oh man, I miss uh, what duets from back in the day, like Tammy Terrell and, and Marvin uh, Gaye. What would be one of your man I miss uh, duets? Man, I back miss in the uh, day. Uh, uh, Rick James wow. and, and um, Tina Marie. Uh, Tina Marie. Mm. Oh, yeah, fine man. design. Because Tina Marie sounded like she was black. You know, for the longest, we yes. thought she yeah. was black. Yeah, but we didn't was. have, you know, on Twitter right, right, and shit right, back right, then. Right. You know, we yeah. had Instagram. Yeah, to go by the album. Yeah. This that shit right here. Don't cut your baby head off. We'll <laughs> 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 be right back. Yeah, we're trying to watch. It's the rollout show right here on Fox Hole. Yeah. In the building, we got... Tyron Turner. In the building we got. Mark Howard. In the building we got. DJ Paul. In the building we got. Kenesha Bus a Bus. In the building we got. First 48. Teeter. <laughs> Wheels are still. DJ always, always in your ears. Taking pictures with us. We have Salam in the building, y'all. Yeah. Well, like now, Malcolm Jamal Corner. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, DJ Paul, uh-huh. most people, when they think of Memphis, they think Elvis. Like, that's the first thing you got to go see is Elvis. But uh-huh. I actually went to the... Uh, the, the motel where Martin Luther King got killed. Mm-hmm. And you find out so much shit when you go there. Like, I didn't know the lady that owned the hotel died the same day, a heart attack, right? She did? Oh, wow. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't Nobody know knew that, that but you. Right. It's little facts I know. But, like, how often do people come t- to you, to your town and say, I want to go see Elvis shit? Yeah. Everybody. 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 A lot of people. Well, you know, not, 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 you know, I take that back. I got white and black friends. Yeah. I got all kind of friends. My You're white friends. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my, my white friends want to go see Elvis. Yeah. My black friends want to go on Bill Street. All right, right. Oh, yeah. Bill Street. But show. nobody never said Martin Luther King house. I mean, uh, uh, when Martin Luther King got killed yeah, yeah, in this hotel. Right. Yeah. Only one person I know wanted to go there. One or two. Yeah. It, it was uh, where you see where the man took the shot from and where King was shot. Allegedly. You would have to yeah, believe like- that it was... Plan because it was so far away, it's little as window. He had to be sitting there for the longest, waiting for him to come out to mm-hmm. get the perfect shot. And uh, and then, if I'm not mistaken, Marvin wasn't even supposed to be there because mm-hmm. he had told him once before, hey, this shit didn't work. Why am I coming back to help y'all niggas again? He's like, Well, try one more time. Yeah, that's why he came back. Yeah, that's crazy. But I, I didn't go to see Elvis's uh place. Have you been? Yeah, hell yeah, I grew up uh, right back. Oh, really? Yeah, it's Graceland. Like, it's nice. Graceland, yeah, mm-hmm. it's nice as fuck. Okay. You should go one day. No, they let the brothers go. It's not. You can't touch it. Somebody got to sweep up. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Let's you come up there and pick some shit up. Right. <laughs> pick up some old cups out of the <laughs> But no, it's actually nice, man, you know, to go up in it and see he had every room themed. Mm-hmm. Like, one was like Hawaii because he loved Hawaii and this and that. So it was actually pretty cool. You can see his cars and shit. Dang. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Help. Go ahead. I got a question. Uh, so you were on Celebrity Wife Swap, right? Yeah, I was. Could you tell us about that experience? Oh, man, it was cool. You know, they had been asking me to do it for a while, and I was like, oh, man, I don't know if I want to do that. I was, yeah. like, <clears throat> I was like, matter of fact, I don't want to do this. <laughs> but they was like, man, no, it's actually cool. They was like, uh, we're seeing some episodes to look at. When I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's, it's P. 
he's full. Who you thought you going to be fucking him? Yeah, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, man, that's actually peaceful. Like, I, you know, I thought it was going to be like Atlanta Housewives or some oh, shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers like fighting all over the place yeah. and this and that. And right, right. It wasn't nothing like, you know, basketball wives or something. It wasn't nothing like that. Yeah. He was like, man, keep in mind, this is on ABC. Right. He was like, man, they ain't going to let nobody be on there doing nothing crazy. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. They was like, man, Disney is putting this out or some shit. Oh, right. oh yeah. Right. You know what I'm so I was like, I was like, fuck. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. And I was like, I was like, dude, a girl, spend the night. <laughs> blah, 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 vice versa. <laughs> they was like, we used to do that, but we had to stop doing that. So uh, they was like, oh shit. Was oh, like, that's right. Yeah, they did stay tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. just slept in a different room. Yeah, sure. I don't even think I was supposed to tell y'all that, but anyway. Right. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, she spent the night. Right, she spent yeah. the night. Yeah. She spent the night. But you know, once I found out it was cool, you know, I was like. Uh, you know, it's um whatever. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I did it, man. I actually had the time of my life, man. It was a blast. Yeah, we got that Disney shit out the way. What's yeah. the freakiest shit a woman's ever done backstage? Mm. I mean, that's too much of that. <laughs> <laughs> too much of that. I mean, I've been doing this for 25 years, man. So, oh, yeah, you know, that's... I see chicks ass. ride beer bottles and... What? Maggots come out the top of that motherfucker. What? Yeah. A what? A <laughs> maggot? Yeah, a couple of maggots. Put that on World Star. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some crazy <laughs> shit, man. I don't like that one. Wait, did she do the maggots on purpose, or she didn't know she had them in there? That's... I don't know where the fuck the maggots came from. We just <laughs> they put a that beer, ain't no uh, more. They, they stuck a beer bottle up in there, and then you know we hung out for a little while and looked over there and some maggots coming out there, motherfucker. Like, holy shit! <laughs> okay, DJ Paul, we gonna take you back. Seventeen years old, your first time you went to jail. Uh was I seventeen the first time? I think I was younger than that the first time I went to jail. I sure was. I was younger than seven. Don't ever correct me on air. <laughs> <laughs> when I, when the first time I went to jail, I probably was 17. First time I went to jail it was for, um, I did what we all do when uh-huh. we're young. Uh-huh. When you stop, when you get out of high school, you still ride up there to <laughs> yeah, see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, to holler at the high school chicks. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. So uh, I got pulled over, and uh, he was like, uh, uh he was like, no, don't ever come up here again. You don't supposed to be at this school no more. You you, you, you graduate. I, I was like, I was like, first of all, I didn't graduate. I got kicked out. <laughs> so that, first know, of all, I still, I, I, I still got another year I'm supposed to be up in this moment. I'm just not in here. Right, right, right. I'm not too old yet. Yeah. So uh, he was like, well, look, if you come back up here again, I'm going to lock you up. And I'm like, all right, I'm not going to come back up here no, no more. He said, well, sign this paper right wow. here. Wow. And if you and if, if if you if I see you up here again, I'm gonna turn this paper in. And I'm like, all right. I left. He turned that motherfucker straight in. Oh, Aww. yeah. So next thing I know, they come knocking on my door. They like, man, you got a bench warrant. Uh, he supposed been in court ten days ago. I'm like, what the? <laughs> fuck? I'm like, for what? And they were like truancy, whatever they fuck they charge you with. Wow. I didn't and know they, they keep you for going up to school because I used to yeah. do that shit all the time. Well, that That's was why they start doing that rule. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you can't go to school. First of all, when you graduate, they don't want you coming up to school. First of all, you didn't graduate. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I didn't graduate. So I, I, I literally, I can still be up here. Right. He got a year of eligibility. Yeah, Wait, I can be trying. Eligibility. Eligibility. I got a mumble demon. Man. Hey, thank you, DJ. Always. Oh, fuck everybody in here. Shut up. Y'all know I can't. Eligibility. Another year. Yeah, he got another year to keep coming to this motherfucker. No, keep trying. <laughs> I ain't going to be sitting up here trying to say eligibility for 20 minutes. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. I can't pronounce a lot of shit. It's all right. So what's next for you, uh, Paul? Oh, man, just um, we just got off one tour, and we just brought the album out, the Mafia 6 album called Watch What You Wish. We brought that out um, on the 17th of this month. And uh, now we're just promoting it. We're just going to go back on the road, and then in July I do a EDM tour. That's uh, mostly on beaches, mm-hmm. so that should be Ooh, pretty, oh shit. That should be oh, pretty fun. Be so you've been overseas? You do overseas? Too? Yeah, I do overseas too. Now, I went, to, what, I went what, to overseas what, a few times last year, but we uh, over the years we've been overseas amazing times. They love it over there. Huh? Yeah, they love it over oh, there. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's yeah, right. Especially when you go to like uh, Japan and you know oh. all the all the Asian areas. Are just what his name is? What his name? DJ Paul. So are you eating all the exotic food over there? You eating yeah. octopus and all you eat? I mean, I eat everything anyway. Okay. Because I'm a big foodie. So everywhere I go, I like to eat, you know, okay. try different shit. Even when, you know, when I'm here in L.A., I just go to all the... That's why I like being here because there's so many different... Yeah. 
you know, cultures and uh, it's all kind of restaurants here. So, so you DJ might Paul, how are anywhere. sauteed horse nuts? Have you tried those? Man, you know they're a little salty, but they're the same. <laughs> chewy and salty. It depends on where you get them. Yeah, it depends on, and if they boil or fry, yeah. or grill. <laughs> yeah. A little Too lemon on top. I like mine boiled. They usually okay. make them a little soft. Okay. Too much rub on them. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> I heard recently um, you had some uh, issues with a taser because I carried my taser, but now I see you had some problems with that. Yeah, I was in New York City, man. You can't carry nothing in New yeah. York City. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like that. they want you to get killed up there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to get killed up. How do you know you had it? I, well, the beer I had in my hand probably had, you know, probably oh, yeah. chipped somebody out. <laughs> right, right, right. But I wasn't even Probable drinking cause. the beer, man. I just had the beer in my hand, and, you know, I had the, you know, the, the bag wrapped around. I think when I wrapped that bag around, it gave it that look. Get a yeah. silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my boy called the panties. When I put them panties on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then, they, you know, New York, they, you know, they got that little stop and frisk law or whatever. Yeah. That's know. the bullshit. I haven't Hip-hop got hit with that. I've been in New York a couple times. I haven't, I guess I don't have that look. Well, you're always carrying donuts, so you're cop friendly. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucked so, up. <laughs> so, yeah, they, 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 uh, he says, he says they ran friendly. up behind me with a, a flashlight that imitated a police car light. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, I saw a light flash behind me. Uh-huh. Like, just on the side. Is this motherfucker driving down the sidewalk? <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> my girl looked behind me, and she was like, I think the police are coming for you. And I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. And then... um. They walked up to me, you know, they started sweating me and they searched me, blah, 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 you know. So they just so, go yeah. in your pockets while you're sitting, while you're standing there? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. So they reach in, grab the taser, and then it go bad? Well, he reached in and he felt my dick. <laughs> and he was like, what kind of weapon is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's not, not for you, man. It's not for you. <laughs> right, right, right. It's right. for the chick over here. <laughs> All right. So, so if you reach in the other pocket, you might find something for, you know, for niggas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So the other pocket, the the other village, pocket huh? got the weapon for niggas. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, you know, so you right. was in the city. You was in Manhattan. You, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he asked me. He was like, "You got any uh, d- anything dangerous in your pockets that hurt me? You know, knives, or razors, or anything?" And I was like, "No." And then when he found a taser, he was like, "I thought you said you didn't have nothing dangerous in your pocket." I said, well, "You said knives or razor blades. <laughs> if you had said tasers, I would say yeah, yeah, okay." <laughs> just happened to have one of those. So now he mad as a motherfucker. Yeah, he was mad as hell. But you know, uh, the the black cops and uh, like the, the 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 chief or whatever that came out. He had asked him, he was like, because the guy that arrested me was like a young white kid. Mm-hmm. He was like, uh, you want to take him in? He was like, you know, it's cool with us, you know. And he's like, no, nah, I think I'm going to take him in. I'm like, yeah, of course you think yeah. you're going to yeah. take me in. But then once they got me in there, they was nice as fuck. Right. Like, they started singing, stay fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they took you they, in. They went and got me McDonald's. Wow. I was no in the way. jail eating McDonald's. Swear to God. They uh-huh. went and got me McDonald's. Man, they treated me real good. And then they, when they took me to court the next morning to the uh, courthouse jail, they gave me my own cell. The older black lady that was in there went and got me breakfast. Mm-hmm. I ate fucking what like pork, fuck? pork chops for breakfast. Wow. And man, it was, it was, I mean, it was, in jail is never cool, but that would have had to have been my cool experience right, right, right. in jail. Hell now, yeah. did you get your taser back? You Hell know, no. I'm gonna tell you something funny about that. When I when I when I was walking out, they gave me my uh, wallet and all my shit, and then they had my taser laying over there. And I said, "Can I get that back too?" And he pulled out his hand because he said, "I can get it back to you, but I gotta put these back on you." Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it. Make a, po- police have the best jokes, man. Right, right. Man, they have some good ones. Y'all, that's what y'all should do. Bring a guest police up here one day. As a, mm. Man, they have some funny yeah, ones. Yeah, I want that one around me. I ain't coming. As as you call me my real name, it's a problem. Uh, Donald? <laughs> Still have a warrant. Uh, the rule out here is if they ever ask you to get out of the car, you'll never get back in. Oh, they no. They ain't never oh, got yeah. When they go, can you step out the car, please? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, did you see the new one where they trying to uh, put uh, uh, your driver's license on your cell phones? Huh? Yeah, you hear about that? No. Yeah, I- Iowa is the first people that's starting to uh, try. But they're going to have, you know, just like when you go to the airport and you can show your boarding pass on yeah, your phone? Yeah, you have your ID. But they're trying to have uh, your driver's license be on your phone. Mm. You know, because basically, like, you know, they don't really have the right to unlock your phone and go through right, it. Right, right, right. But with, in this case, you know, if you unlock the phone and show them the yeah. ID, then your ass is, yeah, it's mm-hmm. gone. Yeah. And he starts yeah. swiping the So next thing you pictures. know, he, he back in that month, he back there. You think he's looking at your ID, he's swiping to the left on your mother and right. looking at your girlfriend pictures and dick pics, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. yeah. no. <laughs> Too much stuff is going in the phone. Somebody steal your phone, now they got your identification. That ain't right. Yeah. I'm not yeah. fucking with it. Yeah, That's the thing they're doing, but they are doing it out here. They jump out on you like... 
everybody put your phone on the hood of the car. Yeah. So you put your phone on the hood of the car. Okay, I need everybody to unlock the phone. Really? Yeah. That's why That's why I got so many different goddamn phones. Cause I take mine off the hood and throw the smash the motherfucker on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you ain't taking that L. I ain't taking that L. That's nosy than a motherfucker. It's the Roll Out Show right here. You're listening to that's all, right. everybody, including DJ Paul. And this up? bitch. DJ Paul. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Memphis Sound. Do you have, uh, in the hip hop game, does Memphis have their unique sound or are they just kind of pretty much your own city? Memphis uh, had the unique sound. You know, they had it. You know, everybody had their own sound mm-hmm. back in the day. You know, the West Coast had their sound right. and uh, New York definitely had their sound and Miami had their sound. It was the bass, mm-hmm. shaky right. booty. And uh, Texas had they sound, and, and Memphis had they sound, and Memphis was you know the sound that you know me and Juicy and all the older guys in those uh, days created. You know, it was like crunk, talk shit, Teddy Club, or blah blah blah. You know, and uh, <laughs> but now you know everybody pretty much sound the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. You know, back in the day, you could tell, you could listen to a record, you'd be like, these niggas from New York. Yeah, right, 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 or you could right. he heard some NWA or something, you'd be like, they, these niggas from uh, the West Coast. You know, too short, E Forty. Yes, E yes. Forty definitely. You know, they they from the Bay. Mm-hmm. Right. But now you know everybody sound the same. Yeah. Wow. You'll be watching a video, and somebody be from New York, and they'll be crocking that nigga. From from you think they're from Atlanta? <laughs> yeah. like, these niggas from Atlanta, right? But you know, it's a the good thing about it is um, everybody can get radio play everywhere. Right. Yeah. Right. Versus right. you know, back mm-hmm. in the day, everybody couldn't go everywhere. Exactly. Now everybody can get. The bad part about it is everybody sounds the same. Yeah, right. Yeah, same that's a problem. Shit. Oh, it's a uh, it's uh, the rollout show right yeah, here on the Fox it Show. Is. Uh, it's early in the morning. Somewhat early in the morning. Uh, Paul, you can hang out or you got you got a bounce? That's with? DJ Paul. I'm cool. I'm hanging out. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll be right back. Take a quick break. DJ always in your ear. Uh, it's throwback Thursday, including Man I Miss. Do it. We're back. It's roll out show right here on the Fox Show. Yep. DJ Paul's in the building. Funny what up? Mafia? Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Three, six, Mafia. Yeah. bitch. So when you're on the streets, people be like, uh, you that dude. Yeah, that's, that's, they never know my name. Yeah. They, right. they just be like, you know, they if they're a super, super fan, they'll know my name. You know, because, so, but basically some of my best friends don't even know my name. Hilarious. So I, I don't care. <laughs> but uh, uh, they'll be like, ain't you the dude from, from. From, you that dude from Three Six Mafia, ain't you? Yeah. I, I said, you know what? I know how I'm gonna get my next platinum album. Okay. I'm gonna name my, I'm gonna name myself the dude from Three, Three Six, Six Mafia. Mafia. <laughs> I ain't gonna even go back DJ Paul no more. Right, right, right. Y'all don't remember that? So that's a white boy name. Y'all remember that? Hilarious. The dude, the dude from Three Six Mafia. I ain't gonna lie. I just do it. Oh yeah, my man, my man. Yeah, yeah, my yeah man. everybody be like that. Yeah. And that's what they call everybody from there. Three Six Mafia. Yeah, everybody. Is yeah, they always the say, dude from- "Hey, three six mafia." Yeah. You still got that Bentley? I got a rose. Yeah, yeah, I got a rose. Yeah. yeah, you still got it. Yeah, hell yeah. I, I got my fourth one right now. God, that's right. Damn. Yeah. Not that I ain't had four at the same time. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> but I didn't had four. I bought my first one uh, when we did. Um, the one that was on Hollywood. That mm-hmm. was when they yeah, first made that, that yeah. model. That was in two thousand four. I got rid of that one because it had the ba- the beige seats, yeah. and them niggas towed that motherfucker up. <laughs> <laughs> So I got me I another one with black seats. I remember that band. You like them? Yeah, I love them. Damn. You know, but you know they had their problems. They had their issues. If you want a good, if you want a good car, you get a Mercedes. I don't have pretty much every car in the world. If you want a good car, you get a Mercedes. I take my my S five fifty over any all that other shit. Yeah, I had to remember that when I get some money. Just don't get Well, focus on that bus pass right now. Hello. Um, so I know that you're very artistic because you have uh, hand drawn some of the album covers for people, right? Yeah, yeah. I drew uh, um, Project Pat album covers and our album covers and our logos. Yeah, I, I used to. My son know how to draw real good too. But my brother, who uh, who I was the closest to growing up, he drew all the time, and I used to always ask him to draw me pictures of uh, girls' vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, when I was young, and like in, like in the third grade, right, right, third, right. and I would look at it, and I was like, "This look like an eyeball sideways." <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> this one look like what is this? And he was like, "This how I look." I like, right, I found out one day. <laughs> that's me a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much what he said. Tell me a pussy. Yeah, that's what you said. My, but my brother was a pimp. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? In Memphis. Yeah. In Memphis. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Benzo. Benzo. Yeah, that's a pimp name right there. Yeah, it is. Say, man, where the fuck is Benzo at? <laughs> <laughs> Say, <it>, bitch! <laughs> all year, all day. Yeah. And you out there going, draw me a pussy, please. Yeah, this like, little nigga always want me drawing and shit. Say, it, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Well, when 
did you finally get to see one up close and personal? So you didn't have to get the drawn one no more. Uh-oh. Man, I was I was a late uh, bloomer, man. I was the last person in my neighborhood to get pussy. As what they told. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let them tell it. Uh, Let them tell it. I was in the tenth grade. Wow, that's when I got. Oh, that's tenth when I lost grade. my virginity mm-hmm. too. Tenth grade. grade. Tenth grade. That's Funny a- part about it is I ran, you know, like years and years, maybe fifteen years later or whatever, I ran back into the same chick. Wow. Same- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right back to the same chick. She was living in Atlanta. That was pretty cool. You fuck again? Of course I fucked again. <laughs> <laughs> you want that three do, six mafia? You did the right thing, man. Right. You were just Paul Dick. Now you three six mafia. Dick. I mean, because I didn't remember the first time. You know, no, I remember no, back in the tenth grade. Yeah. I, you know, I, 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 the only thing I remember about that is I kept ha- asking her where the fucking hole was at. Oh. The only thing I don't that. don't look this like the picture. picture. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, shit, I should have I should have told him to write some directions on the fucking oh. picture. <laughs> like, enter here, exit there. This between the legs, little brother. <laughs> well, you know, DJ Paul, if you have to ask, he didn't that even... wasn't a girl. That was a man, baby. <laughs> hey, Speed. Yeah. You was in 10th grade when you first got yours? 10th grade, I uh, walked, uh, well, first, a friend of mine walked Jackie, I won't say her last name, walked her home. Why not? And, and he <laughs> fucked. He said, nigga, I fucked Jackie. I'm like, oh, what happened? He said, I walked her home. Boom. So the next day, I said, Jackie, can I walk <laughs> you home? She said, yeah. So I fucked Jackie. Come back to school. I tell everybody, these niggas went and asked her, did I really fuck? And she said, no. I said, hey, 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 bitch. <laughs> Say it, bitch. Tell these motherfuckers. Like-. She said, you shouldn't kiss and tell. I don't give a fuck about all that shit. Tell Say these it, motherfuckers bitch. I fuck. And she wouldn't do it. You fucked for real, though? Yeah. I, fuck. I, I mean, I, I ain't know what I... All I remember is being on top. And I put somewhere. it in. And I thought I peed on it. Oh, he's a squirter. I got uh, <laughs> hilarious. Because I just remember hey, like you probably did pee. I yeah, I probably. Hey, <laughs> Speed, I was twelve. You tw- twelve? Twelve? Yeah, but it was a it was a neighborhood rat. I don't I don't know if you can count that. They count. Yeah, they yeah, count. they count. They count. They count. They count. I mean, I'll, I'll it's a no- vagina. We 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 just got on TV and radio, man. None of us fuck famous bitches back then, so all of them was neighborhood rats. Right, right. <laughs> I lost mine to a nigga in a game polo. Players only live once. He had a tatted. I ain't seen the motherfucker since. Yeah, because they only live once. Yeah. All right. So again, tell us how everybody can follow you and, and see what's going oh, on. Oh man, uh, hit me up on my Twitter and my Instagram. The same thing is uh, DJ Paul K O M, as in King of Memphis. That's uh, my Twitter and my Instagram, and um. Uh, y'all can go to my website and basically get everything, man. DJPaul36.com. DJPaul36.com. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. That, that motherfucker. Yeah. And, and make sure y'all go to DJPaulBBQ.com. Summertime coming up. Buy y'all some of that barbecue rubs, some of that right. sauce, and I got the hot sauce on the way. Oh, can, can, yeah. can you bring us some? I, I will bring y'all some. Don't play. I'll bring y'all some. Uh, that is that. Barbecue rub. I need it. Need it's it. Roll out show. Yeah. Be right back. It's your boy Speedy, and you are listening to the best of the Rollout Morning Show with Speedy and Friends. It's the best, man. <laughs> Say it, man. In the building right now, comedian extraordinaire. Yes. Can I say that like that? Yeah, Why yeah. not? Okay, cool. Yeah, well, Comedian right no Who we got in the building? <laughs> we got Kathleen Madigan. Yeah. What? What's up, beautiful? What? Good morning. Yeah, this good morning. Is, uh, I just this love the fact nice. that she just sat down and got her legs crossed now. <laughs> yeah, you chairs style. Still high when you're five foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Look here. I feel extremely Lilliputian in this chair. We're going to make you feel <laughs> Did you go full Hobbit just now? That was a sneakle. She was gone. Yeah, yeah. Evil that's, that's the voice you do when you first meet a guy. Oh, you know. man. <laughs> Pray yeah, that you want it. We yeah, like you want it. <laughs> that could be some dangerous head. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, but it makes it more exciting. You don't know what's going to happen. Oh, so yeah. tell us what you're doing now. What am I doing now? Uh, I was up late watching 30 for 30. I watched... Uh, <laughs> Wait, what, which 30 for 30 Christian, did you watch? Christian I Lager. hate Christian Lake. Yes, I've fucking seen it. good. Yeah, that's crazy. Did you good. notice, though, all Rob Lowe, narrator, executive producer, sneaking uh, all the pictures of himself yes, in? Yes, Rob, this yeah. is not about you. Yeah, you didn't Hot play ball. It. It's sneaky, sneaky. No, every <laughs> chance he's like, the 80s were very culturally popular. And then there's a picture of him and Arsenio. <laughs> it's about basketball, Rob. What are you doing? I swear to God, I'll bet you there were more than I was even paying attention to. I saw four. Where he just sneaks little photos. Yeah, of I saw himself. that. I, I'm in the gym on on the, on the treadmill, and I'm looking at it. I'm going, "What the fuck is Rob? <laughs> what is Rob Lowe doing?" <laughs> so thing. I was up late watching my thirty for thirties. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I hate Rob yeah. Lowe after that. Huh? Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, you got if you haven't seen it, you got to watch it and then try to find Rob Lowe. It's like, where's Waldo? Yeah. He's in there a lot more than I probably even know. He couldn't now, wait to you get love another. Sports? 
I love so. sports. I do. Yeah. So when it came to, I hated Duke at that time. I, yeah, I, 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 I still I just hated Duke. But one, one thing I love about sports is that in that situation, as much as I hated them, I totally respect Christian Leitner Cabal. He could, and well, he could, and and he, he could, it's better to have a devil. I mean, yeah. if we lose Tiger Woods, I don't care. Hilarious. And I hate him. Yeah. I hate him, but I love to hate him. So yeah, if he goes so. away, if he goes, ah, pfft, it's all the same white guy in a hat. I, <laughs> I'm so not interested anymore. And even the old guys that had some personality, they're, yeah. Phil, come on, Chubby, you're too old. Phil Mickelson's <laughs> too old. Yeah. But all these young guys, they all, it's every white guy in the exact same outfit, too. They yes. have the same pants. Yes. Yeah, same Roy pants, Michael same Roy. shirt, same Shoes, hat. Well, yeah, Jordan <laughs> Smith looks like this guy, looks like this guy. You gotta have a devil. If, yeah. if Duke is the devil, then so be it. it. But it's a lot more fun when there's somebody that you can hate. Yeah. Like and then I they're hate, good. I hated Duke and I didn't even know why. Well, my brother told me to. Hilarious. That's why I did it. He's like, you have to hate them. I'm like, all right. Who should I? Re- I was from Missouri. We're so bad. We don't even count. Oh, so We're like, do we St. still Louis have a team? Yeah, from that? Ferguson. Yeah. Ferguson. Oh, oh, shut yeah. the fuck up. Holding it down. And I was, it looked, no pun intended. No, that's why when people go, can you believe all the stuff that happened in Ferguson? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 25 years later than I thought. Yeah, I thought it was going to happen when I was in high school. I'm like, what? every day I was like, oh, shit. It's going to get weird. That feeling has uh-huh. been there for wow. 30 years. Now how far like, is Ferguson from St. Louis? Right it's 15 right? minutes from the Arch. So if you're downtown, you just go north. Yeah. yeah, just go there. Because I've been to St. Louis, Louis a lot. And I just, I'm like, they were like, Ferguson is in like, Yeah, well, you wouldn't go because you'd have to go through North St. Louis, which is really dangerous to get to north the border of North County. So there, it's okay. the county. But not, I mean, it's still only 15 minutes. It's not a very big city, all in all. So. Yeah. And you've been doing stand-up how long? <sighs> 25, 25 years. How'd yeah. you get in it? Uh, accident. This is why drinking accidents sometimes are good. <laughs> <laughs> People judge like uh, drinking and smoking too harshly. Yeah. Like we, I worked at a bar, and uh-huh. then people misbehaved, and they go, "You guys can't drink at the bar when you're done when you're off work anymore." So then we went drinking at the comedy club, and then yeah. we went, it was always on Mondays and Tuesdays. So yeah. when they have open mic night, yeah. and like it was at the same time, Cedric. It was like Cedric was there. Uh, I started with him like around whatever year that was. Joe Tor- all those guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, uh, Zach and Mac, yes, they died, yes, yes. but they were around. Um, and we just watched open mic nights, and just so many crazy people show up at mic and they're not funny. They're uh-huh. just literally crazy people. Yeah. And you sit in the back with a beer and go, well, I'm better than that. <laughs> I mean, when people go, who are your idols? I'm like, people that sucked. People you would never, you would never have heard of these people. They, they were so horrible. They, they, they gave me confidence. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I had walked in a club and seen Rich Jenny or Richard Pryor or something, yeah. I would have went, like, oh, I can't do that. Mm-hmm. But watching lunatics off the street try to get a sentence across to strangers, <laughs> I could do, yeah, just bark. I knew I'd said something funnier that day. I got a St. Louis story. So I just started doing stand-up maybe a year or two, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it. But I'm getting frustrated because I couldn't go up here. Now, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles where I couldn't get up because everybody was hating. I was getting funny. I didn't know that. So I said, fuck this comedy shit. I quit. And I go to St. Louis. My buddy is a drug dealer. So I go out there. He's like, come on here, man. We can get some money. Whatever, whatever. And then now I wasn't terrible at that shit. I kept giving it away. Apparently, you're supposed to sell it. But I kept, <laughs> I kept falling for hard stories. Man, my mom here. Take it. So anyway, so so uh, Sinbad was coming to town. So he said, we're looking for the funny comedian that can, if you destroy it, this competition, you can open the show for Sinbad. I'm like... I gotta be funny than everybody in St. Louis. I, you know, I figured I, I, maybe I'm funnier than these guys. So I go kill, destroy, open up for Sinbad. I go back and do comedy. But it was being out of LA that went, hey, I could do that. And the people that showed up were pretty much like you said. Just somebody went, so I was running and then I failed. <laughs> Shit, motherfucker be talking, nigga. <laughs> and then and I won. You know but, who used to show up? And I, it, this is like when you grow up and you watch TV and then somebody from TV is actually real. A uh, re- oh, yes. rerun. Oh shit! Yeah, yes, he, he tried to sh- do stand up. Yeah. He did try, and yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, he was terrible. No, no, you're rerun, dude. You, if you don't do rerun, yeah, we were people are just here. gonna sit there waiting for rerun. Like you can't undo that. Yeah, he can't. Like Jimmy he, Walker not saying dynamite. At some point, dude, you gotta say, <laughs> you gotta say it. it. You gotta say it. Fuck. You can't you just can get it out of the way. It. Stay it up front. Sell the T-shirt and be done with it. But, but you thought yeah. Jimmy Walker was funny? Yeah. Who? Jimmy Walker was funny. <sighs> Impossible. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sometimes God. his comedy, even back in the day, like Arsenio, even the first time I saw Arsenio, killed. 
Yeah. And he's killed ever since. It's still so funny. Sinbad, I just yeah. worked with him two Sinbad, weeks ago. Sinbad, funny as Still fuck. funny. From day one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's someone that's just, they kill all the time. Uh, when JJ came out, he was just the real skinny, funny looking dude. And then he had a TV show, so that's going to carry you the rest of the way you need to go. But it's going to hurt the stand up. Like oh, his yeah. stand up. Because you never get a chance to practice. It was caught in time. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. It was a very, yeah, yeah. it was like watching a, I think we should have nights like that at, at clubs where you call it 80s comedy night. And you, oh, please. Yeah, you go get people that their act is stuck in 88. Man. And then they do all the things you would expect. <laughs> and then the 90s. And we could just do, we could even do like five year things 85 to 90. Who's showing up? Uh, yeah. Very, very, <laughs> That's great. Mark is going to be the 90s, Mark 95. Be 90s. <laughs> <laughs> so you just do throwback comedy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And throw that shit back. Uh, yeah. Right. All the way back to like joke jokes. Joke like jokes. back to vaudeville. Like, you know, right. knock, knock. Like, Who let's there? go all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be dope. It's Fox I mean, Radio. It's uh, Kathleen's in the building. Uh <laughs> The stand-up shit out. We, we, I know some people are going stand up. We love it because we we're stand up comics. Because we're all stand up comics. Now, have you ever dated a comedian? You ever? Lewis Black, a hundred mm. years ago, and it's uh, weird because he's been a hundred for a long time. <laughs> oh, sure. uh, no, uh, yeah. He's funny. Yeah, for a long Lewis time. Is funny. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's still one of my best friends. Yeah. yeah I, how so, was sex? Cool. Yeah. Great. Look at Lou. Do, no, does Lou look romantic? Is there anything that she, is there anything that yells romance about Louis Black? No, like, not take your at clothes all. Off. If you want some sort of romance, you're going to need to bring your own Bree Y O R because <laughs> Lou is not. <laughs> he's a nice guy. It's just, I yeah, he doesn't really the ranting and the raging. It's not really Shut romantic. The fuck up. <laughs> That's hysterical. That's the only comic though. Um, yeah, that, so I, I really, I said I should, my tombstone should say I slept my way to the middle. <laughs> like, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even sleep with Lou when he was famous. It was when nobody knew him. Like, oh, I didn't wow. even time it right. Like, as far as, like, if you're going to be the woman that goes, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start sleeping with all these comics and boom, 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 boom. There is a method to that, Mattis. First yeah. of all, I, I thought of it way too late. Hilarious. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, well, I'm 44. Now who can I go Give after? Some. Right. <laughs> like, Larry the cable I, guy. Then I picked the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dinner done. Larry's still hot, kind of, yes. in that Prilosec commercial. <laughs> yeah. um, he, he's an Outdoors guy, he's on a jet ski in the commercial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever like you know? He's athletic. Dated any of your fans or anything? Because I'm a veteran, and I know you've done some uh, stuff for the troops. Have you? Know? Oh yeah, no, no, you know. But you know what? Those people, I'm always so happy when they come back and go. It's so weird to have somebody come up and go. I saw you in Kabul in 2011. That's just such an odd thing to come out of somebody's mouth. <laughs> and you're like, right. awesome. We both made it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. don't, don't hold that right there. We got to take a quick break. Come right back. Don't move. Cause I'm going to Kabul. That's it, right? Yeah. It's a rollout show. This shit is it's fire. Yeah. So you like this? Yeah. Tell me who it is. Tell, uh, uh, Brother named Zoe. Hey. Turn that up a little bit, pivot. And the dawn meets me again. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. See that groove on there? Cat, cat, you see, see what I'm saying? I you, got it. You feeling yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, I got it. I see you moving the show. Can't you see how I'm feeling? Yeah. <laughs> I see you looking at me now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I know yeah. She was looking at me all crazy when I came yeah. back. I got PTSD, so I can't really sit still for too long. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> I made it back, though. Yeah, you did. <laughs> now, Some of you. You're yeah. doing your uh, your fifth uh, special for the troops? Uh, we just taped it. Yeah, it'll be on CMT, I don't know, probably next month. They have a quick turnaround. Yeah, yeah. so then they co- it turns into a special and a DVD, and then they get Get all the money. So that's oh, good. that's dope. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. good. Now that, is that the net Netflix special or did no? It's like called uh, it's really Ron White's the host. It's okay. Ron White salute to the troops, and then it's me and like three comics and Ron. So mm-hmm. and then they do I, I I don't know what they did. There's sketches in there. It's just an hour show. Where but, was it filmed at? Vegas. It's always at the Mirage. Oh. Well, it used to be at the Grand Ole Opry or something. I think we did it there one yeah. year. I don't know. I yeah, did, I did it before it was even a d- taped. Yeah, I should be Me and Ron just Iraq. used to do it in D.C. That's oh. what I said. Why are they filming in Vegas? Filming in Iraq? Uh, uh, because it's too like hard. It's I got closer to get there. It's just too hard. Yeah. I got off stage somewhere. I think it was in uh, Mosul. That's uh, where I was stationed at. Really? Yes. Well, we did a show, me and Robin Williams and Lewis and... Uh, Lance Armstrong taught spin classes. I'm kidding. He just, <laughs> he just, uh, he just 
<laughs> he just stood there. I yeah, don't know. He, people wanted to meet him. Whatever. Um, yeah, we were at the base there because we almost didn't go. They almost said it was too dangerous. Yeah, because that's one of the most uh, heavily uh, bombed. Uh, st- uh, we were yeah. mortared while I was yeah. on stage, and then the troops go, "Ignore it. That's Keep how- going." I'm like, "I'm oh, sorry. There's a lot I can ignore. I can ignore a heckler. I've had people have heart attacks during my show. I'm like, yeah, yeah get 911. Anyway, yeah. like I was saying, but we're being mortared. We got mortared at least four to five times a day. That's why they didn't care. We didn't anymore. care because we know once we hear one, it's cool. When you hear like six, that's a problem. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So yeah. well, nobody, uh, that's seven. Nobody gave me that information. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Are you wearing not. a jacket well, on stage? Or you got not the on stage, oh, but during the day. And that's when you know oh, how bad shit. your posture's been your entire life. Lou, Lou and I put on the flak jackets and like literally 30 minutes later, I'm like, my back hurts. And he's like, mine too. I'm like, what's wrong with us? He goes, we've never stood up straight. We have a steel plate in our back. Yeah. It's making you go like this. That's why I like, sit straight. Yeah, you, you've got to go, because yeah. you, you're just stuck like this. I'm like, well, this is the worst part of the military. And then imagine no, trying to fight being like that. No. And no. then save lives and my back hurt. Like, no, I'm not and doing the this. whole thing, the flak jacket looks really cool, but, but it weighs not, 30 pounds. I, that's why I have it's back not, problems. I'm sure you do. Yeah. And the guys, it's 60 when it's totally loaded. Yeah. And like Lou, he's just this big Jewish guy. Everything uh-huh. about Lou is inappropriate. <laughs> in a military outfit, he's got glasses. They're all bent and dirty. And <laughs> his hair sticking out of his helmet. <laughs> he's like, I'm here to entertain the people that should be fighting. I should not be fighting. Oh, I should yeah. be doing something else. I'm like, Lou, you don't even look right. I don't either because I'm too small. Uh-huh. But like there was a guy, Ben. Ben's like 32, six foot one he put on this stuff he looked like he was in the military i'm yeah. like dude you wear it well like uh-huh. you look right lou looks like a he looks like a crazy dentist <laughs> like, or, or some, in sort of, some sort of nice jewish doctor that got stuck in a war i'm like are you the medic <laughs> you don't even look a pro you look like you're in a bad halloween outfit <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your netflix special then what's going on with that i'm gonna well i have two on there now uh-huh. and they're so great because they like Showtime HBO I've had specials on there and they'll go okay your premiere date is October 10th at 8 o'clock awesome then when else is it going to be on we don't know will you tell me when you find out no okay thanks that was a great conversation and then I have to wait for my mom to call in the middle of the night when she hasn't taken a Lunesta you're on television you should get paid call somebody bye <laughs> uh, you're, you're on one of the channels you're on 59 you're on channel 59 and this is all really? in your phone yeah yeah mom my cable numbers aren't the same as yours I live Does somewhere call, else do your uh, family call and ask for money no, they're pretty good about oh, the yeah. money. They do like um, trips. Oh, huh? they want to go where where they they scan my website okay. and my, my parents show up at casinos because they'll <laughs> drive anywhere in okay. that Lincoln Town car. And I said, "Wow!" I go. They went and traded the Cadillac for a Lincoln Town car. I go now. I'm going to sign you up to be Uber drivers. You have the act, you have the actual car of a registered driver. Yeah, they don't. Hilarious. They don't look for. They all got good jobs, so they don't care about the money. But they want to go on the trip. Like if I'm headlining the Mirage, okay, I have to get a hundred rooms. Oh, oh, really? How many more rooms? Well, you know, I think you forgot about your cousin Maureen. She wants to come. <laughs> I mean, it just goes on. Because you, you can't room with nobody, on. right? And then they, I never make them pay for a ticket. But they don't ever like. I know comics where their family's always like, "Hey, you got an extra five Gs laying around?" Like, well, yeah, well, my mother. <laughs> like, only my mom does it. My mom will call and she'll do. The asthma thing. She goes, "Hey, Speedy, I'm just at home." I like, yeah. What, what, what are you doing, ma? Nothing. You know, I wanted to get something to eat, and your sister's name left me here. And then I hear my sister in the background, "Mama, I'm here." She's not really here. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, so my mom lives in L.A. and I'm in the Valley. So I'm like, "So you want me to come? You can just bring me like twenty dollars or something." <laughs> I said, well, Ma, I'll put it in your account. No, because then I got to walk to the store. <laughs> your sister won't take me. Yes, I will, Mama. You're not here. <laughs> and then she, we just go back and forth. But I love when she calls. My, uh, my nephews, they don't have that. They just come right at me. Hey, look at huh? <laughs> Jamie Foxx said, uh, you know, he on TV, you know Jamie Foxx, so give me some sneakers. Bye. And they hang up. So. I do buy my parents, like, I try to upgrade them. My mom's yeah. all into upgrades. Like, my dad doesn't want, and he'd still have a black and white TV. He'd be completely <laughs> happy. I got him a big screen, and they literally, instead of hanging it on the wall, they shoved it in where the old TV used to be. 
they they just shoved it. It goes outside the border of the oh, thing, and goodness. I'm like, what? Our necks hurt. You can't hang something that high. How are we supposed <laughs> yeah. to watch television with our necks bent? So I upgraded my mom's phone. I got her new iPhone. She's good with it. She gets. She goes, well, something was wrong with it, and I took it to Walmart, and they asked me who my provider was, and I said my daughter. <laughs> And they all laughed, and then no one would help me. I, I said, Mom, they meant, like, fucking hilarious. sprint, but, Mom. <laughs> so since they drive everywhere to go see you, are they watching you everywhere? Because I know you was on the no, nightly show. they don't watch at all. They, no, didn't, no. they didn't watch you on the nightly they're show? They're over that. No, yeah, they're over so that. Many. They're over it. But he, they don't even watch sometimes when they come. They, I was doing a casino in Iowa, and the Cardinals were in the playoffs. And okay. it, it got crazy. Like, we were losing, and they were winning, winning, winning. Uh-huh. And my dad goes, oh, do you have any new jokes, or is it kind of what we saw six months ago? <laughs> I go, why are you asking? Why are you asking? You go, well, right now it's the bottom of the six, and it's tied. I mean, I think we can get in there by the time you're done, but we, we can't. We can't. It, it, this is a, a playoffs, Kathleen. We can't just... I go, I would watch the game, too. I have three new jokes. I'll tell you later. Don't worry about it. You don't have to come in and watch the show. Fucking so they hilarious. drove all the way to Iowa and didn't even watch the show. They was my watching show. the playoffs. They just wanted to gamble and see the baby. Baseball, and then they went golfing and Fucking yeah, they hilarious. don't. There's too many kids in my family. If they cared about everybody, you know. So one of my siblings got mad because somebody didn't say happy birthday to somebody's uh, spouse. My mom goes, "There are seven of you. I'm supposed to remember what? So it's just 14 birthdays of those people and yeah. the children. Then I'm in trouble if I don't remember the children." She said, "I can barely remember where my keys are. I don't have time to tell your wife happy birthday. Happy birthday. Get over it. Yeah." So tell our fans how to reach you and how they can uh, follow you and uh, uh, be at the next show. Uh, shows are on the website, uh, KathleenMadigan.com, and at, twi- at, uh, at Kathleen Madigan on Twitter. I play a lot on Twitter. I like it. You're funny. I like it. Yeah. Fucking it's a fun because you don't have to allow people to follow. You know, the Facebook, I can't. We you play, can I play me a friend? We you play <laughs> Can you put me on there? No. 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 You want to follow voice. me? Follow me like the baby Jesus. You just walk right behind <laughs> me on Twitter. Walk right behind me. And, and the joke of the day has to be who's your provider? My daughter. But anyway, can you <laughs> the fucking <laughs> That's hysterical. That's fucking off the chain. It's Fox O'Reilly, Radio Real Life Show. Thanks for hanging out with us, baby girl. Anytime you want to come back, go wide open. Thanks, guys. Come on in. All right. We'll see you. You're listening to The Best of. The Rollout Morning Show with Speedy and Friends. Yeah. Real Life Show right here on the Fox Hill. Top of the hour. If you're supposed to be there now, you're late. You might as well stay in the car and listen to us. Yeah. No grace for it. No. Nah, no grace for it. It's Speedy and Friends and I be. Speedy. Up in this. Peace. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah uh, and you got pew, pew. Do you do all sound effects? <laughs> yeah, I, I need you to pew, mother. There you go. Got the pew. Got pew. Got an pew. In the building we got. Tyron Turner. In the building we got. Mark Howard. In the building we got. Kenesha Bus the Bus. In the building we got. <coughs> Teeter. <laughs> On the wheels. DJ always running them. Sean Paul right now in the mix set. And in the layer. In the layer right We're now. We're all in the layer right now. Legendary. We have the Legendary. beautiful Talented Emmy Award winning mm. Anne H. Wow, yeah. is she here? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going on? I don't know. This play, you guys are going on. My gosh, they yes. stick a lot of you in this room. Yeah. I'm telling you what, it's cozy. You're like a family. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> party in here. Yeah, stick a lot of y'all in here. Like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> and you are a new cousin. <laughs> There's like, thank you. A lot of blackness. So like, I didn't even say anything, and I'm a cousin already. I'm like, yeah. That's how we do we just adopt you right away. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have a new show out called Dig. I do, yeah. Please explain. Because I see the commercials all the time. I'm like, okay, I'm going to TV this. And- and you haven't, so now no, I no, have I, to. I know, so now I'm here to explain. Right. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. Um, you know, this is a conspiracy action thriller okay. in the in the vein of I I, I don't know all conspiracy action thrillers. Yeah, okay. you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let me see. How do I make it different? It's uh, extraordinary. It's set in Jerusalem, um, mm-hmm. and uh, it is. Uh, you know, a, a story that uh, the more you watch, the more you uncover and you have to discover. And it's oh. a mystery series. So it's of actually course. shot at Jerusalem. We did. We were there for two oh, months. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then um, went to Croatia after the conflict broke out in Gaza again. So we were we oh, were moved we from Jerusalem move, yeah. into Croatia, which quickly. You know, how many people can say I've been to Croatia three times this year? I, <laughs> wow. I have. It's wow. been quite a journey, quite okay. a quite a quite a year. So something like that happens uh, and, and, and the show is, starts to do well. How do they you think they'll just go back? 
Well, my husband says, can't we do Dig L.A.? <laughs> um, mm. uh, but no, I don't think we'll be, I, I, I don't think we're going to be here. We would go, this is a series that has a beginning, middle, and end. It's 10 mm. episodes, and the arc takes you through a journey through FBI agents who are stationed in Jerusalem who discover uh, that there's a, a woman, an, an American girl that's been murdered. Oh, and man. in the discovery and following through of wow. this murder, of course, it becomes, you know, a bigger story and, oh. and all of these things that are twined. This takes place in Jerusalem. If we were to do another show about Dig or Dig with me and uh, Jason, we would be in another country. Oh, so you guys are digging for the clues. And that, that's we are. We're, the head, we're FBI. Okay. Mm. So we follow the murder mystery of a girl. And so if we were going to do Dig mm. 2, season 2, we would be in, in another country oh, with okay. a different, you know, a whole different mystery to solve. Oh. And how do you Dig. prepare for that role to be FBI? Like, what did you do to prepare for that? Kicked butt. <laughs> <laughs> First on my family, and then anybody who came into my uh, no. Um, I uh, I thought just please don't look like every other FBI girl you see on TV. Right. Um, you know it's hard to kind of if, how do you prepare? Like I, I don't kickbox or anything, but. Um, you know, I'm not a real tough person. <laughs> no. And the only thing, hey, I play a Marine. Watch it. Okay, I play oh. a Marine. It's hilarious. <laughs> you sure put a tough look uh, on Steve. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, you don't know what I'm carrying. Oh. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> that's the <laughs> next question. <laughs> hilarious. Um, we, well, you know, there are so many shows about FBI. You know, there's so many FBI, yes. so many cops, yes. so many things. So my, my, my preparation was just, I hope people don't think I'm doing it like everybody else did. Can I? Is there a way to kind of approach this that you're watching a woman and not watching some some idea of a strong person? Yes. What was your gun of choice? FBI. Uh, M16. Oh, oh. <laughs> I pulled that one out. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> pew, She was like, I don't pew. <laughs> did you go to the gun range at all to get familiar with guns? Like, how did you? I did for another uh, show that I did, actually. So I know what it's like to shoot a gun, and it's really fun. Yeah. Have you shot yeah. one? Yes, yeah. I have. Yeah. They're yeah. really, really yeah. fun. Yeah. I, I could get a. Pre- it's addictive, very addictive. You know? It is. Yeah. It is. You'll just be in there for hours just yeah, shooting. Yeah, just shooting. I, I didn't know you, could, you couldn't rapid fire in the one I was in. So they gave me the gun. I'm like, pop, pop, uh, lane six. <laughs> <laughs> One shot at a time. Did I'm you like, have oh. some aggression? You needed to get yeah, out? Like, you were man. like, man, I got a lot of people to shoot. And, and, and then it was all these police officers, and they were looking at me like, uh, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> what are you getting ready <laughs> for? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Who are you imagining? Yeah. <laughs> They're looking through your Rolodex. They're on your iPhone. What does he have in his calendar? Yeah. Why? What is he doing tonight? I was having too much fun. <laughs> now, your dad is a Baptist preacher? Oh, My dad oh. is dead. Oh, I'm sorry, he was. But what, what? You, no, show you love for Mr. Inappropriate. But it's interesting. <laughs> that's what it had here. That's what it had. No, no, it's fine. It's just so funny. Nobody ever talks to me about my father. Mm. Um, he died when I was 13. Should we get melodramatic? Yeah. yeah. Um, Tissue. He was, why, uh, do you like Baptist churches? Well, I'm born and raised Baptist. You are? Yes. Do you like to sing gospel? Yes. Which? What's your favorite song? Uh, yeah, good question. Oh, <laughs> see, let me see if he's a real uh, Christian. This little fry of mine. Right now. <laughs> we go from the gun rage to Jesus. Let's Get go. Him, Get him. Let's go. Um, it would have to be <laughs> one of Aretha Franklin's songs. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, 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 you way, better way, think, way, think. No, hilarious. <laughs> Hila- <laughs> uh, tro- way over troubled waters, or, or uh, bridge, bridge, bridge over troubled waters. You are. You no, are how many si- how many how many Sundays did you go to church? Uh, we way to go. over troubled water. We, it's not. You don't swim over ooh, the water. Hilarious. It's a bridge. <laughs> That's right. Get him. Come on. Get Jesus him. is the bridge. Hosanna. Of trouble. We had to go every Sunday, every Tuesday, every Friday. Oh, Lord. My mom was a choir director, so I had to. That's what my dad did. Yeah, he wasn't was a preacher. He wasn't. He, I wasn't smart enough to be a preacher. I, he, was, he was not the he, brightest. He, he was the choir? not the bright. He did. Oh, okay. He That'd did. Be a and of a I grew up singing uh-huh. in church. What? Which is how I got my first job as an actress. I was asked to be in a musical. Okay. Mm. Because I could, well, I, don't, I could sing well, but I sang well oh, enough for Ocean City. On. New Jersey, yeah. <laughs> and I did know that it was a bridge over troubled water. Yeah. I don't know if that was Ness. Is that a gospel song? Yes, she pulled your Baptist card. <laughs> I totally did. I win. I am in the, uh, surrounded, I'm sure, by much better Baptists than I am. Then, but then I can. It, I'll take you down when it comes. Then to Then there was another song. He's really a Jehovah's Witness. I don't know <laughs> why he's lying. <laughs> Simon and oh, you're the guy that came that. to my. Yeah, Simon, right. you're, you're the guy that came to my door. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy guy. You look so different. <laughs> he had a skirt on. This world could be a better place if we were all. Uh. 
<laughs> yeah, when they do show up, you're trying to act like you're not there, and then your kids open the door. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, they want to talk to you. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Like, you I don't need any Girl Scout cookies. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, this show, Dig, is, is coming out, and uh, how are you feeling about it? How am I feeling about like, it? Like you like, oh, this the one? Oh my gosh! I've done. So, I've been around so yes. long. So, so that, I know you to, would know that it's. I, and I said this to my husband when he was on. When we met, it was on a show ten years ago, and mm-hmm. he was like, this, "This, this is so cool! I'm doing my first interview." And actually, Billy Bush came up to Vancouver wow. where we were, and he's like, "Oh my god, I'm nervous! I'm going to puke!" Blah, blah, blah. What happens if this? If I screw it up, you know? Mm-hmm. I was like, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter because the whole journey of your career is mm-hmm. all of it. All of it right. together. There's yeah. not one. It's thing. The there's not. There's. It's mm. everything. Mm. Yeah. Everything that you do in every way that you are, and that that all comes together. And you can't be judged on one thing or not. This is an extraordinary show. I mean, when you have uh, creators like Tim, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but Tim Crane, who created the show Heroes and Gideon Raff, mm-hmm. um, are the creators of the show, and mm-hmm. it, uh, and Gideon created Homeland. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're. I like Homeland. Th- it's an amazing, like amazing too. group of artists, writers. You know, it all begins with the writing. And um, mm. and then it's a show that people got. I mean, it's a ten episode series, mm. but it took us a year to shoot. We were wow. in the most extraordinary locations, and the, and and the story because it's ten episodes, they get to dig deep, truly dig deep into uh, these uh, this extraordinary uh, yeah. world and the Holy Land and what's going on there and the conspiracy around it and. You know, they say in our show, it's 2,000 years, and the conspiracy is 2,000 years in the making. And we, wow. we we look into all of these things that you can't necessarily do in a movie mm. and can't necessarily do on a TV show that you don't know is is going to end. Mm. So right. so it's, um, you know, it's extraordinary to be a part of that, I will say, to answer your Beautiful. question now. It's five minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's sing or now, something. Now, back to you. I've asked a question that long, too, as well. But, but let me ask you, you, like I said, you've been in the business for a long time. Is there a next level? Are you looking to be behind the scenes, direct, producers, that any kind of... I love it. I've done all of those things. I, I, I produced, executive produced, and created a show call, called Bad Judge um, yes. that was on love TV this oh, yeah, this yeah. year, and that was really extraordinary. It's fun to do. We got 13 on the air, which, you know, these days is kind yeah, of yeah, right. really yeah. exciting. So that was, that was wonderful. Kate Walsh starred in it. I love creating shows for other actresses. I look forward to doing it. I hope I'm going to get another one on the air next okay. year. And um, and I have direct and, and I loved it. I, I just um, you know I'm blessed that I get a lot of opportunities and um, people are starting to open the doors for me too. Uh, you know, beautiful. produce okay. and do other stuff. So it's very really fun. So you were in John Q and you got to work with Denzel Washington. Oh. How was that? he's so amazing? <laughs> I just can't believe that I only had one scene with him or whatever. I and I had to be such a bitch. You did that well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I trained. Right. You're a trained actor. Yeah, trained bitch. <laughs> You're good. Uh, <laughs> yes. I remember I was so nervous of course. I mean, yes. I, every single man I work with, I swear, I, I've worked with some of the most talented people yes. and I'm equally as nervous every single time. And never's like, oh, you're just Denzel. You're like, no. I'm like, <gasps> sweating, panting, gonna throw up. Like, uh, oh my God, how am I gonna act opposite him? And I sat across the table. The first scene we had was in uh, the hospital and, uh, and I, I was so nervous I could probably hardly even speak and he just looked at me and goes, be more of a bitch. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to. I love you so much. I don't want to be mean to you. He's like, no, go ahead. Bitch it out. Right, like, right. Oh, but you're done so and I love you. I was like, be a bitch. <laughs> Thank you, okay. Mr. And people thought I was a bitch forever because I was so good at it. I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm not. I'm a nice person. I, he there told me are. to do it. I oh, wanted man. to kiss him and everything. I did. I did. But he is so handsome. and He's one of the coolest guys I met. He, I, he is, yes. yeah. I met him. Uh, we were in a restaurant and my daughters were with me. Yeah. And so it was a table left and... Fox sat down and uh, my daughter sat right next to him. He's like, no, I have him sit next to me. I'm like, oh. And so I said, Maya, do you know what it is? She's like, no. <laughs> How she, old is she? She was, uh, she's a nine, but she's oh, drawing yeah. pictures and, yeah. and my daughter Madison, who's six, is sitting on his lap. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope you took a lot of pictures. I was six. I, I, didn't, I, feel, I feel like a, if I took pictures, I was a groupie. <laughs> well, he has are. mental pictures. Yeah, because he didn't, I'm sure he didn't know that you were a fan. <laughs> Major. <laughs> I mean, you, but you he also is, work with a lot of the legends too. You know, um, Robert Duvall, James Woods. I know all those people. I mean, it was the first time working with them as well. 
Then for that oh, movie, Junkie yes, um, yeah. I no, I've worked. With, I, I I do. I look back at my career and think, wait, well, how did I get hired to do all this? <laughs> um, <laughs> he was a bitch. But I was, I was a total bitch to everybody. When you said ensemble, you're like, wow, okay, I must be doing something right. Ensembles are amazing. What, I mean, to, I I mean, some people think that um, the, some of their favorite movies that I've done are uh, Wag the Dog, where I was uh, with film. De Niro and right. Dustin yes. Hoffman. Talk right. about wanting to throw up, oh. man. Yeah. <laughs> It was like, oh my God, oh my yes. God, you're so amazing. <laughs> um, and they do it I just sit on. most of the time watching the people that I work with and go, I'm just a lucky gal. Cool. And if I spit out my lines, I'm, I, you know, great. I'm lucky that I get a paycheck. Right. For it. Is right. there anyone that you haven't worked with that you really want to work with? Every other person in Hollywood. <laughs> wow. I mean, I just, I, that's right. I just, lo- I mean, I, I was in the car coming over here and there was a, a magazine in the back pocket of the car and Julianne Moore was on. I was like, no, damn, I want to work with her. I love her. <laughs> I did Psycho with her, but we didn't have any scenes because I died. Oh. And so, I'm, but, but everybody, I mean, they're such incredibly talented people yes. that I feel very lucky to work with. I mean, who knew that I would be working with Jason Isaacs? And then all of a sudden, they're offering me a show with Jason Isaacs. So, I, I just... Um, you know, I, I'm lucky that I get. I mean, look, I'm here in my mind with my new family today. Yeah, I didn't right. know I was going to meet you guys. <laughs> hey, cousin. So, say, so you, there you go. Yeah, I was going to say maybe you want to work with Mark Howard one day. He's great too. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Good, because I don't. So you can take him with you. <laughs> <laughs> right when you walk out the door, take him with you. Oh, go, Miss Hayes. Can I go? <laughs> so you've been in the business for a long time. Um, uh, have you ever had anyone had that moment over you where they're like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe it," and they couldn't talk and speak and have you ever had that happen to you? Um, I probably shouldn't say yes because I should be more humble than that. But sure, sure. Um, yes, there there are moments. Funnily enough, it's usually the soap opera fans that I have from years ago because they were so dedicated and they oh, I was yes. twins and I was in their room. Uh, you know, most of them say my grandmother watched you, which is yeah. hilarious to me. That yeah. okay, I'm, and and it's so funny because it's true. <laughs> they were like eight, you yeah. know, and right. watching me on a show. Um, but. They get, I call, I call it fan diarrhea. It, I, I, that's a terrible thing to say, but they, fan diarrhea. The, yeah. What happens? <laughs> what happens is that they can't stop talking. That, that's what. Which I know oh, you guys are going to be like. And diarrhea. She just came in here and blathered. All over <laughs> it's radio. I'm supposed to. Absolutely. Um, but it's funny because because I'm a truthful person and I've told my story and I and I do believe that everyone should tell their stories. It's mm-hmm. part of the healing and my understanding of life and friendship and kindness and you pass it on. But it's funny because once I became a person that people knew enjoyed that, mm-hmm. I, I all I have to do is say hi and I know everything Hilarious. about any fan I'm standing with because they tell me their yes. entire their entire like, story and I forever. hold it with you know it's not usually funnily enough it's not really about me okay. it's about um, an ability to know that I I care I think so oh, they want to okay. they want to share share with me who now they do you, are. how long do you stand there and listen before you go you know what oh no know, I give them five seconds tops okay. no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> And go. No, usually, usually it's too much. My husband will be like, okay, you have a plane to catch. Get out of here. Um, but I enjoy I enjoy listening to people's stories. And it also feeds, you know, the the, the joy of my life that I get to act and, and absorb other, other people and their stories so that I can represent who they are and parts of them when I work. That's right. Right. Wow. Incredible. Yes. I want to have a career like that. Uh, well, uh, I like you. Have, All you have to do is be born a white trash white girl, and you can, you two can be me. Really? Oh yeah. So uh, and, you know, trailer park in Ohio, man, and you can have my journey, what part of Ohio? my path. Aurora. Aurora. Oh, it was known a real for a place park? called Ge- Geauga Lake. Was the place that, I, but I was only there until I was six, and then I went to Atlantic City, New Jersey, another hot spot. Yeah. Really, really pretty places yeah. I come from. And you have you have a new book out, <laughs> Call Me Crazy. You talk about everything in your book. You're- I'd love to say it was a new book. It came out uh, a long time ago, but yes. Oh. Uh, uh, probably. Uh. I mean, I keep now aging myself. Uh, uh, probably ten years ago. Oh, it's already been ten years. Yeah, I know. Oh, I have sure. to do a new one called yeah. "Call Me Sane." Oh, <laughs> so you've recovered? Yeah. The sequel. The sequel. No, I just couldn't believe that people would actually do what I said. I had no idea that people would take me like, "Okay, call me crazy." Have you ever heard somebody go, "Okay, I will"? 
Right, but right, if I right. had known that they would go do like, okay, I'll call you crazy, I would have called it "call me sane," and then everybody would be like, "Oh my god, she's so sane!" <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, but yes, I did. I talked about my my uh, experience and uh, my my journey. I've had quite a quite an amazing life, and feel very blessed that I made it to the other side yes. of the of the pain of it. So um, I was compelled to share that. Sweet, and I, huh? I very I mean, one of the greatest things in my life writing that book. So, mm-hmm. do you really want to do a second book? I do. I do. I don't know when. I don't know when I will, but I... Oh, sure. I love to write. I love to write. Okay. I want to write a book. You, too, can do it just because... I told you. I, I have to figure out... Poor what, white girl, uh, dot, dot, dot. Came from nowhere. Came from, came from Hawthorne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a blonde wig you can borrow. Yeah, no. there you go. I will not. He has his own. <laughs> it's hilarious. Or you can write a book, If I Was, and you can just go ahead. If I was a poor white girl. I've always wanted. To don't listen to them. Please don't listen to them. He's, He's gonna write. I got it. a title for you. Okay. Go ahead. No. Say it. Yes, please please say the title. Please, please. No, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, okay. I have to. Get but I, think about you got to tell me. You got to tell me. I'm all I know is Hawthorne so far. No, no. Uh, born and raised in uh, Los Angeles, and comedian and best friend Jamie Foxx. Anyway, uh, oh. eight five five. That's not how you got the job, is it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we all got the job. Thanks. Yeah. I know him. They know me. That's oh, nice, how nice. Works. That's how it works. If I, they don't Nepotism. know me, then I'm getting there. The title. <laughs> the title. Call me the casting couch. <laughs> Eight five five nine six zero three six nine nine. It's the rollout show right here. Yes. Now we're doing a throwback Thursday. Do you have like a throwback old school song that you like? Uh, well, let's go to Aretha again. Okay. We talked about like Aretha? Aretha. Okay, let's do okay. Aretha. Well, uh, what, what is that? What you better think. All right. You better think, to DJ. Is that oh, it? Yeah. Think. Sing about what you're trying to do. To yeah. Me. There you go. Is that your karaoke song? Who needs Aretha? Song? <laughs> is that your karaoke? Is that your karaoke? That's song? my karaoke. No, heck no. Nobody wants to see me do karaoke. What? What you can oh, sing? No. What am I going to sing? Amazing Grace? Yeah, I don't think that, like, okay. This Everybody one is an down. original, so I can't it. live that Let's one down. Let's rock it with Amazing Grace, man. You always sing Amazing Grace. People will say, um, bless you, baby. When you can sing or not, they still want to Bless you. Oh, this is good oh, yeah, they can't boo you if you do Amazing Grace. They can't Grace. boo you if you do they Amazing Grace. They want to. But they can't. What version is it? It's the remix. It's not a virgin. T.I. <laughs> <laughs> The Blues Brothers. Oh, that's what that's from. Okay, cool. Look at I see that. It's working. Putting him to sleep. I mean, my God, we're singing Aretha and you're snoring. How can you fall asleep to Aretha? You better think. How, how did he get the job? And Hirsch, an Apollo legend. What is going on over there? I've never, I have never put anybody to sleep in my whole life, except little babies, because I'm kind of a baby whisperer. Hello? But I'll tell you what, I have never been that boring. My husband said, "Oh, you, uh, and there's one thing you're not, but no. you, I've put to sleep." No, he had a long day. He's a. Uh, I'm gonna. I need. He's to not really agent. on the show. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> he's been chasing dudes I all his life. PR. <laughs> You'll never sleep again. I'll in this put town. somebody to sleep on the radio. <laughs> and he was in the minute. room with me. And hers, you just uttered the word that you are a baby whisper. So what are That's babies? What, my husband called me. what are babies really thinking about when when you're looking in their eyes? What what are they? What do you get out of that? No, it's just peacefulness. Okay. I just, I just think that there, for some reason, this is how I used to get out of going to church because okay. I would go into the nursery. Tell the secrets. Uh-oh. Because when I used to sit in church, I would get so bored. Yeah. That I would start to ache. Have you had that body ache where yeah. you like want to go to sleep? Like you just like, don't wake up for me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I would get so like I would start twitching, and then my mom would hit me if we got oh. home from oh, church. You went to and real she church. Wa- oh, 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 yeah. It was it was not my favorite moment. So I would I would pretend that I really loved babies, and I would okay. go into the nursery, and then I really d- fell in love with them. Like wow. I just loved it. So my whole life, I've just it's do you have just kids? Like I do, I have two. Oh, okay. okay. Now, do they want to get in the business, or do you want them to? Or I, I mean, if they're lucky, I mean, yeah. I don't. I well, mean, I've had a great life. You know what I Nepotism. mean? Nepotism. Yeah. I can see it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, what are you, his cousin too? Yeah. <laughs> 
That's if Eddie Fox. If he hires me, I don't fall asleep on the radio. <laughs> That's right, and get him. Yes. <laughs> Do you get minimum wage for yes. this or less? Less. Less. Well, there you go. Then I don't blame you. He gets the food on his table. That's what he gets. Yeah, you, the food. What is there, a cracker? <laughs> we got Ann your- over there. <laughs> Ann got jokes. God. So, 855 you're hoping you wish I was your cousin. You would like to hire me. Yeah, I, do I yeah. need to call you Jamie Foxx and Come get on. a favor? <laughs> no, we can afford your budget. No. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> do you share with all of these people or you get your own salary? I don't Ooh. do nothing. I'm just, Ask them. I'm definitely, yeah, put I'm, them on I'm the spot. definitely the a truth. friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all look at Speedy. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. I said to Harrison Ford, if you just gave me one of your planes, that would be fine. That would take care of me for my life. But you're buying five of them while we work together. That's just flaunting it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he deserves it though. I mean, come oh, on. he's phenomenal. Come on. Oh. Yeah. So again, tell our, our fans how they can check you out or if they can follow you. You want them to follow you? Follow me? Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. I'm really hard to find. I'm at Ann Hage. Okay. I'm a tweet at uh, whatever the mm, yeah. Facebook and all that stuff. <laughs> do you Instagram. Do all that stuff? You do it. Not as much as they would like me to. Okay. Right, right. I'm going to hire him to do it for me. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This girl. She's giving me the hives. You got me itching. Oh, he speaks. Oh. And the Apollo okay. legend. Yeah. Actually, he's an actor. I'm... Really? Yeah. So you have lines written for you. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yes. I don't know why I'm giving you crap. You're awfully good. cute, it's and I, about I me. definitely don't mean. No, I don't mean to. It was the, the, your remember eyes were the closed movie? when I was talking. That just doesn't usually happen. You remember the movie Minister <laughs> Society? Is that him? Yeah, Kane, that's Kane. She, she says that, that him. <laughs> that's the one they shot she at the end. Seen Where's the police? They made that movie about me. <laughs> oh, you're a fraud. The boy, the boy's next door. <laughs> Oh, man. So, uh, tell them about the show when the show oh, comes on. Gosh. I'm watch it. Really? You can go from that to back Yeah, I got to. Okay, got to. Dig <laughs> is on USA at uh, 10 o'clock, and it's really, really I don't really I love the name. Watching, I hope. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you think it's kind of clever? Yeah, it's clever. Dig. It is. Yeah. Dig. Dig. Yeah. yeah. Archaeology and stuff. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You can't got- even come. That's it. Yep. Oh, that's what he's got. For <laughs> oh, that's it. I like dig. All right, cool. I love it. You dig it. You dig on. I dig, dig. it. That's what we keep kind of hip. You dig on dig. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I dig I'm waiting on, on her one liner to come dig. in. It's about I to come know. In I'm listening. <laughs> he has to speak another. If he gives me one more, if he just gives me one more syllable, I'll I'll come back at him. Or something. <laughs> he doesn't even, even breathe it. He's like, oh, uh, 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 that's not. A syllable. I'm just here. I'm just here. So he don't get Very fined. Deep. Okay, <laughs> okay, Buddha. Right. <laughs> okay, Gandhi. I'm just here too, Gandhi. Gandhi. <laughs> He's a guest as well. <laughs> Thank you, Ann, for He's hanging out with us. You are. Thanks for having me. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Anytime for having you want to come back, the door's open. He'll yes. be sleeping. Do, do I get some of your salary though? Because next time I get paid. Money. This is for free, but we yeah. got some I, celery. I got some, some bananas. Yeah. bananas. I can keep here. on my diet. I can do a, a banana, yeah, a banana celery diet. Yeah, you look marvelous. It doesn't it's, look like that's what you eat in here, by the way. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm just saying. You do wow. not eat celery. <laughs> well, can you, what, do you think, well, what do you think he eats? He eats his cellmate. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're lucky you get to sit behind a desk hiding that belly. Oh! <laughs> oh Tina, give her the honor again, Tina. And, and a triple Apollo legend. Oh, and you. with that thought, I'm going to hide my stomach. <laughs> it's your boy Speedy, and you are listening to the best of the Rollout Morning Show with Speedy and Friends. It's the best, man. Say, best In the building, <laughs> just sitting in with us. Just very yes. beautiful. Oh, yeah. And she's Off the chain. Yes. I can't wait to go get a uh, burger from Carl Jr. Anyway, <laughs> I thought she was going to bring some. Uh-huh. Who we got in the building? Right now, we have American model and actress, and we know her best from Super Bowl from the Carl Jr. commercial. Yeah. Charlotte McKinney is in the Hi. building. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, beautiful. Uh, thank you for having me. I met me. you in Phoenix uh, when Fox. We had oh, been, yeah, yeah, with Jamie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. The old and, and, and I love your commercial because you know they have an edited version of your commercial. So they have, okay, the tomato on some of them is split. Oh, 
Yeah, one looks like a nice juicy yeah. bomb, and then the other yeah. one's just like a blah. Yeah, yeah. I like and, I like the tight one. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I think we have a quorum. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so weird because I'm watching it going, and I watched the one that where the split was, and they're like, "Hey, that tomato hey, wasn't like yeah. that." Did I they? know it's so funny the different edits they have of it. And like, I guess they do PG. it when the kids, yeah. Yeah, the kids are during the TV. Super Bowl, it had to be a little bit more, you know, G-rated because it's a little oh, yeah. scandalous. Yeah. But, um, so yeah. And you're on uh, Dancing with Stars. Yeah, I just um, started that. I made it through week one. Yes. Mm. Um, How was that? So, yeah. How, yeah, yeah. Round of applause. That's my, awesome. My, <laughs> yeah. my first week was pretty hard. And I like was in the bottom barrel with Red Foo. And then um, this week I kind of, you know, brought the heat. Oh. Got a lot of haters. Oh. So it like kind of got me, you know, yeah. fired up. And I kind of killed it. And week three, here we go. And oh. yeah, just having fun. It, it's definitely kicking my butt. Mm. Um, but, no pun intended. Yeah. It's killing me. I mean, everyday practice. Damn. Four hours a day. I literally like. I'm half asleep right now. <laughs> I'm usually. I'm usually more bubbly. I'm like lost. Like, oh, you know. Thanks but for hanging out I know. <laughs> so, do you have any type of dancing background, or is this the first time you've ever danced? To be honest, no. Like, I I have a bit of bit of rhythm. My dad's from the Bahamas, and he plays the drums. So I'm like, I have some. Okay. I'm not. I don't dance like a white girl. Like totally. No. So what are you trying to say? I'm out. <laughs> You're out. You're in the man. We. Yoko lady, so, you know. Yeah, you can leave. Um, but yeah, so I, so I have a bit of rhythm. You know, I, I dance in the club when I'm when I, when if I if I ever go. Now you uh, just okay. <laughs> now it is our we. This is our Freaky Friday. Mm-hmm. And what is the song that you play when you're about to get it out? I don't know. Do you I, play any music? Don't be shy. I'm not like a like a. I've never been like, oh, I need to turn this jam on. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if you had to turn something, I don't know. That's so. That's so. I mean, there's definitely like songs that get you in the mood. Yeah. You tell know. us one. Tell us one. I don't. I, all you can think of like off the spot is like Marvin Gaye, I guess. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. Let's know. get it on. Let's nice. get it on. Yeah. Let's get it on. I mean, as come you're on. dancing, straight to the as point. As I'm dancing, I think that should be my dance next week. Oh, get get everyone in the mood, right? And then we were, we were talking about there's a thing going around where they're helping people who are handicapped uh-huh. get through their sexual things. Would you be a helping hand with a guy who needed a little? They're called the hand angels. And yeah. I would, would you be a hand angel? Oh, so they're handicapped and they come to your house. No, no, you go to them. Oh, they go to you. I go to you. Yes. and I help you out. Yeah. Well, I'm all about um, you know, <laughs> helping. Out. People our helping fellow, out, our fellow man. You know, I would definitely maybe take him out for ice cream, but I don't know if I'm gonna go uh, put my hand down there. Oh, yeah. Well, some of them they just ice want cream. dates or hang out. Well, that's yeah. what they would love. No, that. I would yeah. love that. I, I do a lot of stuff like that. I, I've always been involved with best buddies, like oh, okay. stuff like that. So I, I love hanging out with anyone like that. <laughs> so <She's>, like <laughs> that. Wow. Oh you know, she oh wasn't my, prepared. No. so shallow. Oh my God. I'm, no, Anyone, anyone, oh my God. Come on, you guys. I've been up since five. Oh, wait. All right. Any, 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 what is it? Handicap. Anyone handicapped? I, I mean, I, that's where my heart goes out. That's, you know. She said like that. Get him away from me. <laughs> Give him a burger. Oh, no, I would love no, to. I, I would totally love to. And, and that's, you and Kanisha, she would love to. So yeah, I, gotta, I think it'd be nice. So yeah. for sure. Make so I got to break good. my leg to get in. Ice cream cone for Yeah, me. right? Uh, yeah. Lo- no, you have to lose the leg. Broken oh. broken leg. Uh, well, you lost the one in the middle, so you ain't got to go down there. Okay. okay. Oh, wow, Tita. Thank you. <laughs> so speaking of um, going for ice cream and stuff and food, when you did the commercial, did you spit the burgers out or were you eating the burgers as they... as Because I know they do a lot of takes in commercials. Well, there's a lot of takes, and normally for everyone it takes like 20 to 40 to 50 tries oh, of wow. the bite. I only took like eight. Nice. So, yeah, mm. it was pretty fast and furious. But, you know, you definitely can't eat all those bites. So there, you know, there was some eating, there was some spitting, there was some swallowing, there's a, you know, oh. a little bit of everything. Great, great right movie. There. Stay right there. No moves. <laughs> some swallowing. Imagine yeah. like after take 15, okay, she's got a pot belly now. It's not going to work. Yeah, exactly. Right? We're going to need another tomato. <laughs> yeah. We need another tomato. To cover it up. <laughs> now, when you went into audition for that, how many more girls were there? Were like 
Surprisingly, there wasn't. Oh, they just okay. reached out to my agent. It was oh. back and forth forever. And I was like, there's no way. And then one day I got the call. I had it. And just kind of everything since then just kind of exploded. Uh, yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, so when people see you walking around, they go, that's that girl. Lately, it's been more from Dancing with the Stars. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Nice, like, nice, hey. Nice, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, everyone has ran. It was funny. I, I, a cop was yelling at me the other day from like jaywalking and. He was like yelling at me, and then he, I come up, and he goes, "Oh, you're that burger girl. Can I get a picture?" I'm like, no, "Like, no, you're being rude." And then, you know, I'm like, "If you pay off my ticket." Oh, <laughs> she did that cute little voice too. Yeah, yeah. my ticket. Pay off my ticket. ticket. <laughs> so so ar- earlier we were talking about like um, social media and stuff, and a lot of people uh, say that you're kind of insta famous, and everybody in social media helped push your career. Do you feel that that was true or? Well, n- yes, because for the first two years of my career, everyone was like, un- I was an assigned model. Everyone's like, no, your boobs are too big. You're too short. You can't model. Uh-huh. So forever, I didn't have an agent. No one was hiring me. So I put kind of all my work on social media. And then people started finding that. That's how I got my guest campaigns. Mm. And, you know, I believe it definitely helped me for sure. So, mm. yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's a great, cool. that's that's, right. that's the American dream right there. Yeah, right. Everybody says no, I'm going to do it myself. Ba-boom. Success. Yeah. I Congratulations. Didn't need, I didn't need any of those um, stupid agents. I went out there, I knew what I had, and I... I, I yeah, yeah, what do you have? What do you have? Yeah. <laughs> got, a, got a couple things. <laughs> so where are you originally from? Um, I'm from Florida. Nice. I uh, grew up in Orlando, and I lived in Miami. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Heat fan. I love to, you know, okay. watch some b-ball. Right. You mad at LeBron? Am I married to him? No, no you're mad. mad at, upset Am I mad at him? You know, it is what it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she can't be mad at LeBron. I'm from Ohio. No. LeBron broke no. my heart oh. on national television. Did you burn the jersey? You burned it. You burned it. No, I didn't burn the jersey, but I was really... Everyone in Cleveland... I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Okay. I'm a Cleveland Cavaliers fan. Mm. So everybody was fine with LeBron going. We okay. understood why. He wants to go down to Miami, get the a couple ring. rings, and we're all like, he'll be back. Okay. But when you make it a TV show, when you're like, I'm going to turn this breaking your heart into a one-hour event <laughs> on oh ESPN, God. that shit was just too public. Okay. <laughs> what Decision. I'm so I'm getting mad right now. I know. Yeah, you're, you're a little feisty. <laughs> I am. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm very feisty. My, I didn't have a problem with that. Besides, he gave the money to a... Uh... Oh, he's a great human being. Yeah. He still supports... There's all kinds of charitable things. He never, like, quote, left Cleveland. Mm-hmm. He always helped those people. But still, it was the decision, man. It's like getting broke up. It's like when your, your girlfriend breaks up with you at a restaurant and everybody's watching. <laughs> right. And everybody's like, oh, shit, she's mad. This is not going well. It was well, like right that. Right before the... Bill comes. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, are you dating or you got a guy? Or? You know, I'm, I'm enjoying myself right oh, now. I like that answer. I like that answer. I what, know. What kind of guys you like? It's funny. I, I'm, breathing. <laughs> they have to be breathing. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I like, um, I, I'm not an athlete. I don't like athletes. The other day, they're like, hey, oh, how like, you doing? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't like, you know, I, it's funny. I'm into like, you know, just little average little bad boy but um oh. you know actors and people oh, okay. in my industry that kind of get you know what i'm doing so Oh. Okay. You're okay. out the running. Oh, I gotta go. I'm gonna be late for my acting class. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Bad boy. Fuck them if they say I'm late. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play by their rules. Right. You are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him, Mike. Go, Mike. Oh, man. So, um, are you looking to get into acting and um, getting to more roles like that? What would be your ideal role and in, in, in you yeah, see yourself going? For sure. I'm really, I'm really into comedy and stuff like that. So, I just did Joe Dirt too with yes. David Spade and Sweet. that was so much fun okay. and um, just stuff like that once you're in with like that happy Madison group you know you, they're so great so hopefully right. getting to do more stuff with them and you know little things here and there but <laughs> and then maybe some serious stuff you know it's um, it's there's so many options so I'm, I'm excited to get into it it's so much more exciting than just modeling for right. me yeah. so. so if they do Charlie Angel's Three, you should be in. Uh, you yeah. would kill him. Oh, That's yeah. You would like that. Idea. Man, you would kill him. That. I'm yeah, just right? saying. I'm, I'm reading your mind. I'm agreeing. Right? Uh, I'm yeah, agreeing yeah. everything yeah. mentally. We need yeah. to just do that. Maybe let, we should pitch it. Yeah. There you go. Let me, let me ask you, uh, going back to Dancing with the Stars, uh-huh. um, what surprised you about the show that you didn't expect uh, when you got there? Well, I knew it'd be hard. Right. But I didn't know every... I haven't had a day off and. Whoa. 
I can't even remember. I have no I have no life now. So yeah. I knew it'd be hard, but I didn't think it'd be every day. And not only is it dancing, it's interviews, it's costumes, it's it's taking over my life. So, right. you know, but I'm enjoying You ready to lose? <laughs> 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 no, I am taking that mirror ball and That's right. Yeah. Get it. Um, You're going to so be yeah. like, oh, I lost. Oh. She going to fall next week. You're like, oh, she tripped over nothing. <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm so grateful for the spot. And, and I, you really learn a lot about yourself when you're yeah. you're kind of under pressure and you know it's good to see the worth that ethic you can kind of get from it too. michael would you ever do dancing with the stars i i no no i would i wouldn't have the courage no. i admire anybody who it does take some there because like some dances i think would be okay and then they're like you're gonna do a, a russian iglato samba and yeah. i'll be like go fuck yourself i am <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like the like the timing it'd be weird yeah. like two three eight nine eleven twelve and yeah. like, I, I would just I yeah. would just pee my pants on national TV yeah. and that would be it and I, and I'm dyslexic too so when he's telling me like one two right left four eight I'm like what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I need some drawings on the ground or something yeah <laughs> yeah so it's all about I'm very visual so once he shows me I'm, I'm getting the hang of it but this week's the rumba last week was the cha cha and I'm getting them. And confused. So. Mm. It's got to it's gotta be really tough because you, you, I imagine you rehearse, you rehearse, and then you get that muscle memory for that dance, and yeah. then and then the next day you have four days to learn a new one. So, yeah. and you wear in heels. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Do you practice in the heels? I do, Ooh. but I wear socks with them. So <laughs> it's really embarrassing. You got, you got to I have like all, all these. Yeah, I have like all these paparazzi pictures of me in heels with socks on, and there's like, oh my god. Somewhere in America, there's a, there's a guy who like that's his thing. Oh. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right. And he's gone his whole life. He's like, I never, I never find it. I never find it. And he's listening to the radio. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, dreams come true, honey. Socks and heels. Socks and heels. Yes. Yes. Socks and heels. <laughs> That'd be a nice little song. Socks and heels? I would like Socks oh, and yeah. heels. Oh, yes. um, yeah. <laughs> now, what do your parents think of all this and the fame? <laughs> They've been so supportive. They, oh, okay. they came in town from Florida, and my dad just sent me like 20 texts like, we're not quitters. <laughs> Keep going. I'm like, Dad, chill out. I, you know, um, but they're they're so supportive, and they've been really it's harder helpful, than what so. you think, Dad. I exactly. know. He has no idea, but. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but I looked at a house, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't do Dancing with Stars? No. Would you do uh, any of the other shows or just to get... I, you know what? I got a weird thing about competitions. Oh, it's okay. like you never know what's going to happen. Right. Years ago, I got talked into doing... Remember the, the new um, Star Search uh, with yes. Arsenio yes. Hall? Yes. Yes. They asked me if I would do it. I said, no, thanks. They asked me again. I said, no, thanks. As I just don't. Yeah, because yeah. it's like music. You know, okay. it, it's like stand up. Some 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 comics are like jazz. Some guys yeah. are like rock and roll. Yeah. Some what, whatever. You cannot compare. It's apples and oranges. Yeah. So finally, uh, I agreed to do it because the show was getting huge mm -hmm. ratings. I go on. I win the first round. I win the second round. I'm going on to the quarterfinals. And uh, this comic, I can't remember the guy's name, had the worst set I'd ever seen. Mm -hmm. It was so embarrassingly bad. Uh -huh. And I lost to that guy. What the hell? Because America will do this thing. America yeah. were very, very giving people. This guy, everyone was so embarrassed. Like, oh, no one's voting for Jimmy, the horrible comic. I'm going to vote for him. So he won oh, off the sympathy no. of America. Oh, and then it's just so it's happens. just so frustrating. It, it, it's, yeah, it's funny because Red Food, the guy who got off the first week, was thought he did better than me you know mm -hmm. it, it just it's weird it how is weird. Am america does it i, may, never I may be on it forever. and then they'll go oh that that girl's getting cocky now now she's all full of herself so it's like there's yeah. an emotional aspect to it yeah that uh god bless you for doing it that you're you're very now, very did brave. they talk you into it or they were like you should do this because yeah i mean my, when my agents told me about it for a little bit i was kind of confused about it but then you know I, we talked about it and I was into it so and how is yeah. it working with your partner how is how is Kale it's, over there Ke yeah Keo is great he um he's a South African um dancer and yes. he, he's so much fun we have a blast together so he's really great he's very flexible yeah. hilarious I mean, he does, he does now the tell everyone how they can follow you if they want to stalk you and you uh, all the good stalk stuff stalk me on <laughs> I'm mostly on Instagram just Charlotte McKinney and then tweet Twitter is uh, <laughs> Charmick. So just Charlotte McKinney in general. It'll, and everything will come up. If you up. just want an ice cream date. Yeah. 
If you just want ice cream. Yeah, I, I, I'm all for it. If, if your legs are broken, hit it up. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here, Mike. All right, we'll be right back. It's the rollout show right here. We are on fire. Get you some ice cream. We are back. Yes, we are. In the lair. With, in the building we got It's Speedy and Friends And I'm Speedy In the building we got Mark Howard represent In the building we got Elder Hanson Yeah, in the building we got Lord S. Gonzalez In the building Kanisha Bus a Bus Ah, Bus a Bus Yeah So you want to ask a duck question? You know I do So listen <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Don't forget about our music man Oh yeah Don't forget uh, John. iPad John iPad <laughs> <laughs> John <laughs> Um, my thing is, did you know that Mighty Ducks will be such a staple? Like for my age group, that is like one of our main movies. Did you know it would be so big when you guys were doing it? No, I did. We didn't. Um, we didn't know we were going to do multiple movies or anything like that. Um, I don't think I really realized it until I got older, even, mm-hmm. you know, because when you're young, I don't know. I had so many other things on my radar. You know, yeah. I was like <laughs> trying to get laid and like hang out with my friends, <laughs> yes. and you know what I mean. I didn't really care about great things on the radio. Yeah, <laughs> first movie helped that out. <laughs> uh, so you know, when I was older, um, I was at a wedding. I was probably like in my mid twenties, and these little kids came up and they were asking for autographs and stuff. And uh, so I signed some stuff for them, and their mom came over and was like, "Thank you for doing that." And I was like, yeah, "It's cool." Like, I'm surprised they've even seen the movie. She's like, "Oh, you don't understand. Like, there's yes. not that many good kid movies. Oh, it's not. So they recycle them and they start. You know, so it's kind of weird because it's not just you know my yeah. generation at that time, but you know future no. generations. Because it's definitely in my box of movies. Like my kid, I have the set. Listen, we I watch it, rewind it, and watch it. Me and my brother will probably watch it eight or nine times in a day, back to back. And obviously, part two is like yeah. the oh, livest shit ever. I, I didn't watch it, but I assume you're <laughs> on ice skates now. You grew up here. Where did yeah. you learn how to ice skate? Well, we had a hockey camp before. Oh, so each you did movie. it beforehand? Okay, yeah, okay. we did like a six week hockey camp before each movie. And it only took you six weeks? Uh, I mean, to, look, to balance? We, it, I think it was just we got to a point where we could kind of skate, you know, and oh, then, okay. uh, you know, they made, had our movie doubles. Man. CGI yeah, movie <laughs> Wait, don't tell me there was doubles. I'll get upset. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> In my Stop. mind, you did Stop all Stop ruining it, it man. man. There was did definitely not. no doubles. Look, I did all my own slap shots. Santa is real. Yeah. <laughs> Let me, you you, you know, did all I, your own slap shots? Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you lost it for yourselves. You know hockey is make believe. So, I, the way that people love this, and right now they're doing part twos, like A Boy Meets World is coming back. All these things from our generation is coming back. Would there be a reunion, like Mighty Ducks reunion? Maybe you guys all have kids and something. That, like, I just want to see you guys again. That'd would be they? Dope, that right? would. I would lose my mind. Well, Sorry. they are trying <laughs> to do that. Support. They are yeah. trying to make another movie. Um, but you last guys year, be it. well, last year we went. We had like a reunion, mm-hmm. uh, oh. just like at the at Jordan Curtis' house, who's the producer on the movie. Oh, and a party. bunch of people got together. Yeah, <laughs> yes. we just partied, we barbecued, and I drank a little too much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was really cool. And they were talking about trying to pull together. You know. Yeah. How many ducks? Four, I guess. And you have, have to. to. Do you know how crazy that? Do you know how crazy? I got to be extra. Do you know how <laughs> crazy this shit will be? People will lose their mind. Like I, I don't. I well, still, we know you will. That's no, you don't understand will, yeah. how many people love Mighty Ducks still. because it's it's a uh, like it's like you said they don't make kid movies like this anymore. And it was it was kitty, but it wasn't like too kitty. Mm-hmm. It still had like drama and like winning and competition. Not like and, Bad News Bears. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was sort of my thank movie. That, that, was yeah. movie. Bad news. that was my movie. That was mine. That was my team. I was on that team. Like it's, <laughs> it's still on Netflix. Like, you know. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My D2? Is... What? Man. <laughs> it's so, I get it's there. It's like, as soon awesome. as you. Look, so now I need to watch that too. Yeah. You, Shit. You, why would you have not seen it? Because I, I did not. You got kids. It. You got eight kids. There's no reason why you should not see any of the ducks. Okay. Yeah. Mighty Ducks, Daffy Ducks, DuckTales. <laughs> there was no brothers in the ducks. <laughs> yes, there was. What are you Keenan. talking about? And Jesse. Come on now. Right, they ain't I, black. I, <laughs> it's a myth. The knuckle puck? You yeah, the knuckle, the knuckle puck was in uh, was it two, right? Yeah, that's two. But you yeah. know who I fell in love with? Mendoza. He was so fast and he couldn't stop. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like that's my husband. I'm gonna grow up and marry him in my mind. You know, he's a fireman now. Is he, is he uh, really yeah. now? What's his Instagram? Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so now tell hey, hey, yo, they about to set their house on fire. I, <laughs> want, I want them. all the ducks to throw up. Do the rider hoses in a flying V, y'all. All right, so tell us what everybody's doing that was in the ducks and get us caught up. Uh, do, you kind of, do you keep in contact with anybody? Yeah. Like, are you? I do. Uh, the Emilio guy who played Banks, uh, who played Adam Banks, is oh, still yes. one of my best friends. Yeah. And my younger brother was in all three movies with me. Who was your younger brother? He played Guy Germain. <gasps> That's your brother. I did not know that. Yeah. Of course. Wow. Not. Yeah. Oh, he was always booed up. That's why you never seen him on the ice. He was too busy flirting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? 
Oh, that's yeah. amazing. That's crazy. Yeah. So I still see him well, all the time. He actually lives hi. in Brooklyn. So when I go back to New York, I'm going to try to find a place. Tell him that he has fans. I will. And I love him. Stalkers. Yeah, that too. I don't care. Fans, stalkers, same thing. I had the hat, the jersey, I had everything. Like, um, like Kanisha said earlier, you've been working since you've been young. Like, mm-hmm. I just read that you was in Turner and Hooch. That's true. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, you, um, in Turner, I saw that. Now, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, Hooch Turner. or Turner? Yeah. Uh, well, don't I, t- I had like one line in the movie, like two oh, okay. lines. I think I said like... Uh, Tom Hanks' badge was fake or look fake or something like <laughs> oh, okay, that. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, I, I what I remember from that movie mostly was like really wanting to play with the dog and not oh. being allowed to go near the dog. Oh, yeah, because there's several more. dogs, right? Yeah, I think they had a, a bunch of them. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't really dogs, know. Yeah. I, I mean, I worked like one day yeah. on it or something oh. like that. No, but okay. you was also on the Butterfly Effect as well. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? That's a good film. What, you know, what, what do you watch? Do you watch? I, I'm what do you watch? Like Fire, the Cooking Network, the Cooking Network. I'm gonna say Trip. That's best movie. Ass and cut you ever done? A butterfly fight? Butterfly yeah. fight, yes. That was a really great experience. Yeah. The the guys who wrote and directed that movie, um, Eric Bress and Jonathan Gruber, um, they you know they've been trying to get that movie made for I don't mm-hmm. know, like five years before we made it. Mm-hmm. So I had uh had come on to it pretty early on and uh well not really early on, but you know, I sort of was on it for like a year before we actually made it. So they became really good friends of mine mm-hmm. and that was an amazing experience. Like the producers were friends of mine and um, one of the other guys in the movie, this guy, Will Scott was, uh, you know, who was on, um, what's that show called with Steve Harvey, uh, with the kids, with the kids, uh, yeah. uh, so he played bullet head. Steve Harvey yeah, show. Yeah, Steve Harvey <laughs> show. Uh, he's one I'm of my best friends. You're going, uh, Steve Harvey. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty, I'm thinking, are they thinking me and the boys? <laughs> <laughs> Steve <That's fucked> Harvey. <laughs> so that was a great experience. Cause we, you know, I was hanging out with my friends all day. Yeah. Working, you know? right. That's dope. Okay. Uh, so would you want your child to, you know, would you put them into, um, acting? Uh, I wouldn't like encourage it, but uh-huh. I would probably support it if okay. that's something he ultimately wanted to do. Um, you know, I think I would, you know, probably encourage him to wait yes. till you know, he's been a kid and done normal kid things, yeah, you know, the before, normal uh, you know, it's, it's a lot, you know, as mm-hmm. a child, you know, have Cause so how old were you when you started? Uh, I've been a member of SAG since 1982. I mean, he's five so, years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so, no, do you, so I'm trying, I'm trying years, to add yeah. on the fly. Do, do, do you feel that uh, you missed a lot of good points in the childhood? Or? Uh, I don't think I missed a lot. I missed some. Um, luckily, my mom was really cool and uh, mm-hmm. you know didn't really force it on me. It was mm-hmm. sort of another hobby. I played sports growing up. I played baseball mm-hmm. and football and stuff. So um, it was sort of like that. You know, it was just another thing that I did. Um, but you know, you know, obviously, sometimes you miss friends' birthdays here and there. And, yeah. and once I got a little bit older, I was like eighteen or nineteen. I kind of decided that I wasn't gonna allow the business to sort of rule me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I would put my friends and my family first, and okay. then, and then my job. And I think that's probably why I've lasted so long. I think mm-hmm. you know, there's a tendency to just do whatever it takes to get to any audition right, and, you right. know, be out there. Give me your car! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you mean that doesn't work? Because I'm like <laughs> stalking audition. <laughs> I know I'm not white, but, you know, give me a shot. Give me a shot. <laughs> you was also on uh, Grey's Anatomy. That's true. I did an episode of Grey's Anatomy, yeah. How did you feel about McDreamy? Uh, <laughs> well, I didn't get to work with him, but uh, oh. as I was leaving, he walked by and said, hey, nice job today. I was like, ah, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I loved Can't Buy Me Love. When that movie came out when I was a kid, I was yeah. like, really into that movie, you know? Because oh, you've, yeah. ha- you've had such a great career. You've worked with some amazing people. Yes, it's, I've been very lucky. Yeah, and it's great to see like somebody like you just still be humble and cool. Oh, thank thank you. you for being cool. Like, you came in with your Mountain Dew. Like. <laughs> well, this was your... I got this out of your guys' refrigerator. But you <laughs> drank Mountain Dew. Yes. Yeah, I, I love Mountain Dew. Dew. <laughs> see? It's cool. You don't, you don't see Mountain know. Dew too much anymore. When no, you, you leave that, it's going on eBay. These two here... <laughs> I it would has never eBay on it. anything. I keep everything. What are you talking about? <laughs> so it's, you I still got list. Mario's water at the house. <laughs> <laughs> they point at it. There's Eldon's DNA right there. On the top there. <laughs> you want to be a duck? <laughs> Drink the dew. <laughs> you hear the, if you put the candy here, you can hear it go quack, quack. <laughs> so be, be like you, you work with so many great people already. Is there anybody out there that you want to work with that you haven't? Like gotten to yet, but this on your list. Oh you, man, you so us. many people. You can say us. So many people. Um, Mark Howard. I'm gonna be honest. You know, too. you know who I really, really, really want to work with. Um, and this is embarrassing because I can't remember his name right Hilarious. now. Mark Howard. I um, think. Oh. oh, Jeff Nichols, the guy who directed Mud and um, <laughs> Take Shelter. Uh, okay. I just think okay. he's and he did another one. I can't remember the name of now, but. 
uh, as directors go, I think so you're he's really just, into him. Uh, I think he's incredible. Yes, yeah. you're very into him. <laughs> I need to work Jeff, with him. You remember <laughs> everything about him, don't you? <laughs> you're kind of into the do of him. Yeah. <laughs> See how I brought that together. So, so Elder says, like I said, you work with a lot of people who've got a chance to look up the Denzels and Milo Estevez, all those people like that. Now, soon, I just going to feel that there's going to be somebody young and say, I work with Elder Henson. And that's still that hit you. you? Has it hit you that hasn't really hit me yet, you know, because I'm still um, such a self hater. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I watch, you know, myself. Like my wife, like forced me to watch the, all the episodes of oh. Daredevil. You know, so I was like cringing the whole time. Yes. Like, oh my god, it sound like that. And like, how many double yeah. chins do I have? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I hate. Like, I hate watching myself. Yeah, it's, watch terrible. Yeah. it's terrible. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah, you just watch it once. I watch, I watch myself it once, once yeah. to see it, and then. No. I put it away. I'm not. I'm not staring at myself. When I do stand up, if I I'm, I'm critiquing myself, going, oh, why would I? Say? I missed the fucking joke there, and people yes. are laughing, but they were laughing. Shut the fuck up, right? <laughs> yeah. I do this fucking joke over, and yeah. this, yeah, I, I can't do. Brings myself. on self degradation. Yeah. My wife was even trying to, you know, pick up my spirits a little Aww. bit. She's like, people, you know, people really like people in these interviews are saying like they really like you, they yeah. really like your performance. I'm like, I don't know, what they're, they don't know what they're talking. About. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, like even the your... good ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, oh, they're they're they don't, they're confused. They don't. She's like, oh, I married you for your third chin. <laughs> <laughs> Want some more Mountain Dew? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's where this came from. So I have a foggy question. Uh-huh. I want to know why do you think that you couldn't lock down uh, Karen? Um, because Focky has no game, man. He's just <laughs> he's just nerdy. You know what I mean? He doesn't have a lot of experience with women. He doesn't know how to talk to them, or you know, yeah. He's he hasn't found his confidence yeah. yet. You know, Lord, as you do know, this is not real. I know, but okay, cool. my actually my producer is a. a <laughs> One of our engineers, uh, Q, he's a huge fan as well. We both, we talk for about this like on phone. Like, did you see that? Dude, what, what episode are you on? And, and he's like, man, he's like, can you please ask him? I was like, oh, I, <laughs> oh he just texted? Yeah, I had to text him. You know this isn't real, right? <laughs> you know, you're Thanks, making me Will. look bad. You make it look bad. <laughs> but no, yeah, so yeah, he's texting me now. Don't say I said it. <laughs> <laughs> we won't say it, Will. So, Elton, if you weren't sure if this is a hit, you know it is, because they're taking this character very serious. Which yes, is a good thing. I mean, people, you know, yeah, yeah, people love it. Yeah. I, you know, I... I'm glad, you know. I mean, honestly, <laughs> renegotiate. The reason why, I'm, like, <laughs> as because I'm actors myself, so I'm invested because you you look at this as like, man, this is some great work, right? Like, like, like he said, like, one day there's going to be other actors like I want to work with you, and that's how I feel now. Like, I'm looking at it like this is a great set I would love to work on because your character is so believable, so oh, real you. that is like I have to like I want to get on this level so that people are coming up to me upset at me. <laughs> Because of my character. Yeah. Right. And I feel like that's kind of like the ultimate compliment as an actor to, to it's say. It's so nice. I mean, it's so nice of you to say. And it's I love it when people, you know, love the show or come up and tell mm-hmm. me that they love the show. You know, I don't get weird about that kind of stuff anymore. And, uh, you know, I, look, as an actor, I'm just, again, like just always so happy to have a job, especially now that I have a kid. You know, it's like yeah. all I want to do is keep working. Yeah. And so to have it, you know, the show be as successful as it is. It's really kind of just icing on the cake, you know, and I feel really lucky. I'm just letting you know, I'm going to go watch the past season. So this time, a month from now, I'll see you and be like, dude, why the (laughs) fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Space the fuck out. And my engineer wanted to say, Uh remind him he's an avocado at law. That's true. I am an avocado at law. (laughs) <laughs> you gotta watch the show. Yeah. And I was like, that's some inside joke, but yeah. what about Go Ducks? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what an avocado in law? What the fuck does that mean? Now I gotta go. I'm going to watch it. I'm we not going to give you that. I'm not going to give you the, the the good stuff in the show. You have to go watch it. We are so. She doesn't want to spoil it for I'm you. I'm not going to spoil it. Go watch here's it. Here's the cool thing. I'll watch it. Be like, <gasps> oh, uh, damn. Don't try to come in here and avocado. say the same. Like, no, you're not. So when enough. I see you again, avocado at law. Hey, mm-hmm. all right. Then you know. <laughs> so yes, go check it out. Season one, Daredevil on Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, go borrow somebody's passcode to get on their <laughs> Netflix. Do you know yeah. how four people's passcodes? Yeah. Like Tony Baker being one of them. <laughs> so, people that pay the bill. Yeah. Go take. Take it, log in, season one, Daredevil. Tell them how to catch you and if they want to follow you yes, or be stalkers yeah. like these. Oh, I, well, I'm not actually on any sort of social media. Go. Wow. Or anything, yeah. 
Wow. So just. What is there a reason why you don't want to? I just I I don't know. You're over it. I, you know, it's just not my I, bag, man. You got a phone I number. I sort of missed that tr- that train. You yeah, know? number you want to call yet? Um, <laughs> yes. Give yes. me a cell phone. <laughs> give me a Mountain Dew number. <laughs> give, look, give me a son. Give me a son's number. Dew. Dew. Dew to do. Call the dew. <laughs> hey man, Thank thanks you. for hanging yeah, out. Thanks again, yeah, man. Because you, you, these two, when they saw your name on there, they were fucking this one. No, you don't understand. I wasn't coming in today. <laughs> yeah. And my engineer called. He was like, "What are you doing Thursday?" I was like, ah, "I think I'm shooting something." He's like, "Screw shooting anything." He's coming in. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, no, you're playing. He's like, no. He's like, I, I screamed. I was like, I'm there. I called my, the people I was working on. I was like, I'm not shooting today. I'm sick. C- recast me. Recast me. I don't care. Who's there, Denzel? I'm good. Well, well, I'm, I'm glad that you're here because this guy over here obviously hasn't seen the show. He no. has not. <laughs> That's why I call Thanks, him. Thanks, man. I, call, <laughs> I, look, I, call, I ain't gonna lie. Me and them both, we haven't seen them. I'm going to binge watch us. I, I feel bad things. that I'm on this side like, uh, okay, cool. <laughs> I saw I call him the old guy on the show. Like I was like, just let me. I was just, you don't know. I, I know. You just be their old man. Just Well, that's the beautiful thing about Netflix. You can watch it anytime. Yeah, you I, can. I'm, I'm, you could binge off of it and just like get your I'm donuts gonna ready. And, I'm going to first watch Mighty Ducks 1 and 2. And three. And three. You can skip three. Yes. Okay, skip three. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Everybody says it. You say that, but I, like I love three, but when you want so much of a character, you don't give a fuck what they're doing. Yeah. Y'all could have sat down all day and never skated again. <laughs> and I'd been, I just love these guys. Right. You know why I like three? Because I was like, these guys ain't got a scholarship. Yeah. <laughs> they're doing Mysterious. something with I was so mad with Mendoza. What did he start liking all these hoes? I was upset. <laughs> supposed to be my man. We're going to take a break. Thank you, man, for hanging yeah, out with us. So He's not on social media, so you just got to see him somewhere. You just got to watch Daredevil <laughs> first season, Netflix. Yes. Or Get on it. You can catch him at 7 Eleven. Get in the mouth. Get in the mouth. <laughs> it's your boy Speedy, and you are listening to the best of the Rollout Morning Show with Speedy and Friends. It's the best, man. <laughs> Say it, bitch. It's Fox O Radio. It's the rollout show right no, here. No, no, yes. And into the layer. Man, wow. what we got? The very, very funny comedian. I've seen this guy on TV before. <laughs> Hilarious. <man. laughs> well, I've been on some shit. Yeah, on some shit. Yeah. <laughs> show your love for Ralphie May. Is in Hi, the everybody. Yeah. Man, man. How are y'all doing? Hey, All right. How are you? Long time I'm no living it. Man. What's going on, guys? Hey, living the dream. What's going on? Man, What's me too, B. Me too. <laughs> living the dream. Where <laughs> <laughs> right to that? Where you, where you been? <laughs> Nothing shaking but four chicks and a couple of chins, man. I've been on the road. Oh, that man, road, Collecting yeah. up checks. That's right. White people. Pay on time, huh? Money, money be there, don't it? Yes. Right, so where, where, where did you just come back from? Uh, I was uh, just in Palm Springs. I did the uh, 21 Palms Casino oh, and oh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, had a great time. And uh, it was... It was a blast. It was, uh, the, the, I mean, Palm Springs, crazy white people. Yeah. Like, there's no black people out there. Like, if no. you're black and in Palm Springs, the car broke down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? So see this Ralphie guy. Yeah. That's the well, West Coast here. Florida. Exactly. The West Coast Florida. Mm-hmm. How many shows you did? I just won. Just won. Oh, okay, it okay. was uh, uh, 2,800. So it was good. Oh, right. one, knock it out. That's a good one. Yeah. Now, is it just you, or you take somebody with you? Or, or? Um, I brought the Smash Brothers with me. They're um, uh, a duo that is hilarious. They, I've uh, heard of them. I just haven't. I don't think yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, they're uh, dirty white guys, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, white trash, and they're funny. They're twins, <laughs> and uh, they oh, are uh, yeah. Yeah, They are hilarious. You know, they cross over uh, okay. to every audience, because just, they're just plain simple and funny, you know? Hilarious. They're hilarious. You know, they talk... <laughs> <laughs> the grossest stuff. I I love them. They're so funny. They're talking about hating white kids named Skyler. Like there's never been a uh, like no one has ever had a grandpa Skyler. Uh, your name is Skyler. You're, you're dying at 32. No way you're gonna be Grandpa Skyler. Hilarious. Never. It's a made up name. <laughs> Talk about white people. It's so funny. Uh, so Ralph, where are you that. originally from? I am from the South. I was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Wow. Raised up in Did Arkansas. You say Chattanooga? Chattanooga. Okay, good. Cool. Uh, yeah. not, not Chattanooga. No, no, no. Not Chattanooga. Said it really fast. I love you, baby. Come on. I wouldn't do that. Um, uh, yeah, and then uh, raised up in Arkansas and uh, moved mm. to Texas when I was 18. Wow. So, you know, I'm Southern. I'm related to me. That's right. 
Cousin's nephew. Grandpa. You a cousin nephew? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm my, I'm own, my own cousin. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did your family think when you started doing stand up? Right. Man, you know, they uh, at first they didn't like it because I had a bunch of scholarships. Like, I was a smarty pants in the family. Okay. Even though I didn't graduate high school, I got kicked out because I'm a comedian. You know, I, I didn't know then, but it turns out I am. Okay. Yeah. I was really close to being a felon or a criminal. I mean, or a comedian. So yeah. one of those two. So it fell to comedy. But yeah. I do have felonious tendencies. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but they, you know, I had scholarships to like 20-something schools. And uh -huh. my That's mom funny. and dad were like, you're going to throw this all the way for comedy? And, and my dad kept on at me really hard. And I told him that I had gotten, I'd done an open mic mm -hmm. and got a blowjob from an unattractive girl Sweet. behind a dumpster of a Shakey's <laughs> Pizza. And he <laughs> He's like, all right, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'll go with you on the next one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll both go get one. Count your blessings. Yeah. <laughs> that really happened? Yes, that really happened. <laughs> and, and that's what made me turn it down because I had just I just completed a, 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 a course called Beginning Scholars, which was uh, taking high school students that are smart and putting them into college and seeing if they, if they uh, have progress. Mm -hmm. And I had already – I'd gotten A's in organic chemistry, anatomy, and physiology, and because sure. I thought I was going to be a doctor, and hilarious, uh, and, and I know, right? <laughs> and, you walk in, nah, I'm cool. I yeah, yeah, I'm, I got A's and all those, and and our uh, study group was after the test. We were meeting at Shakey's Pizza in, in 1989 in uh, in uh, uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and. Uh, they uh, uh, there was an open mic contest uh -huh. and the winner got like fifty bucks and a free tab for the table and a blowjob. Uh, <laughs> apparently, if you were good, that wasn't on the actual list, but yeah, <laughs> of things you'd win. And I went up and won, and uh, I got a blowjob from an attractive girl. And the rest is history. I said, "Fuck college." No one ever sucked my dick because I uh, got <laughs> an A in organic chemistry. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like, why bust my ass for all this? What, what is organic chemistry anyway? What is that? Um, it's uh. The, the chemistry of your body. Oh, organically. Organic. Organically. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. I ain't never heard of organic <laughs> chemistry. You didn't yeah. have anything organic. organic. You never went yeah. down. Anatomy and physiology where you name all the muscles and bones and, and organs and stuff like that. I could do all of that. And um, well, it's with so that, funny. My, like That's the reason why I dropped out of, uh, I went to hair college. But you have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. That ain't the joke, motherfucker. Let me finish. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, let me finish. Oh, I didn't know hair was a college. Yeah, you, no. want, you, you quit barber school? Like <laughs> I quit barber school because you have to know all the bones in the head and in the hand. And I was like, hey, this is like school. Right? <laughs> I just up some how, how do you say it? How much is that right? Obsessible bone. Obsess Man, it's Occipital. been, it's been 25 Occipital. years. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you're killing me. <laughs> uh, it's your head bone. Okay? Yeah. Well, it's your like, head bone. <laughs> bone head. That's all it was. Exactly, bone head. Exactly. 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 The bone in front. <laughs> yeah, the bone right here. That's, oh, I guess just wanted to do ponytail. Hilarious. Huh? <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ralphie, you know I'm going to ask you because we're okay. comics now. What happened on the Tom Joyner cruise? Oh man, that's so funny. Okay, <laughs> I did. Uh, I did the the afternoon thing. Okay, where we were. Uh, I got there like two days into the cruise. Yeah. Okay, and so um, I I did the uh, where we all just talk smack. Yeah. Okay, and all the comics are up there talking smack, and I crushed it. Okay. I killed. All right, and then that night, um, nobody told me what was going on. Okay, that night, no. <laughs> Nobody told me I was going to follow um, uh, Jeremiah Wright, okay, the the pastor from Chicago, okay. Baba's crazy pastor, okay, and then and then and then like like we didn't hate white people enough. We're gonna put the uh, the good Reverend Louis Farrakhan up, okay, and Louis oh. Farrakhan went up, all right, and then and then the old ass stylistics went up. Okay? Watch it now, watch it now. Old ass stylistics still looking good though. I gotta okay. give it up to them. They were jamming all right and then a 30 minute break and then ralphie may okay all right and so, okay. and so, and so oh man are you kidding me Quite it was eclectic. like everything the hell all right and nobody told me that the audience that night yeah. was 
average over 65, okay? I couldn't tell by looking at black people because black don't crack, okay? <laughs> okay. Did not one of them. It was 70s night, and all those players had their original shit from the 70s, okay? Right, right, right. Oh, God. I, I, I got booed before I got to the microphone. Okay, Tom Jordan announces me. I walk out, boo! What? Boo! I'm being booed before I get to the mic. I haven't said nothing yet. All right? And I'm like, what is this? Just because I have i didn't know that Farrakhan had just spent 30 minutes railing on Whitey. Okay? <laughs> Wailing. Okay? And so I'm up there going to boo. All right? And they're booing me. And, and I'm just like, well, I don't know what y'all's problem is. I don't know why y'all be like this. But if you go be like this to me, then fine. Okay? I see how it is. I Can you answer me a question, though, folks, before I leave? How'd they get 5,000 black people back on a ship? Okay, that's what so I want to know. So, so yeah. the other part doesn't come out. We I, Most of the comics don't know about the, the first part. Yes. So the, they knew about what you said on the second part. Yes. So the way we got the story was your first joke, on the on the cruise was that joke right no, there, no, and then they no. then they went. Somebody walks on stage. You go, uh, yeah, and then they start scrambling to get another comedian to come Bruce, do the cruise. Bruce comes up. Yeah, Bruce, yeah, Bruce, yeah. Bruce comes up. All right, and he tells the joke. All right, now this is after this is after like, uh, uh like like. <laughs> five minutes of yeah. booze, okay, and yeah. me just trashing them. I'm like, it's great to be here on the USS Amistad. Okay? <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me tell you what. Okay? Yeah, they All right. Said, All right. Said. Some black people were laughing. The comedians were dying. The comedians were dying. So I was like, man, if I'm going to burn, right. I'm going to do it with jokes, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. I ain't going to sit out here like a punk, okay? All right. And, and I just kept on and kept on. And then Bruce comes up. Bruce tells her, old joke they laugh and then he goes hey let's give Ralph and May another chance boom <laughs> <laughs> they hated me bro and you know what was funny was is that they were like Ralphie do you want to leave the cruise ship and I'm like no I ain't leaving this cruise ship I'm uh -huh. having here to have a good time yeah. all right and so what was funny was every time I would walk around or like I go get like uh, some food or something yeah. like 50 people would leave that area. Okay? Oh, like, I had, like, oh, Ebola hey. and hepatitis and AIDS and, like, and, like Hey, now everybody. you know how we've been okay. treated all these years. Oh, Lord Jesus, I know, man. Welcome I to was, the other uh, side. Amen to that. So, so, you, so that's but how see, I I'm no stranger to that anyways, okay? I got black blood in me right now, all right? I mean, I didn't get a big dick. I just got a couple sickle cells. Shit happened. You know, <laughs> that bad crap. Okay? Oh, oh, sickle cells. Oh, <laughs> so, you know, it's like, I'm down, okay? It's like, I'm with y'all, all right? You know, I don't know what, why are we all like this? Hysterical. But, man, I tell you, that was a thing. And people were like, man, you better leave this ship. I'm so, telling you, Ralphie. And, and see, I didn't even know that part of it, Ralphie, because they yeah. made it look like as soon as you got off stage, there was a helicopter Ooh. waiting to take you to, to no. the shore. No. <laughs> Because you, know, you know, when comics, we get the information, yeah. pretty much, uh, it was like the comedy hot wire about four in the morning. Oh, beep, yeah. beep, 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 beep. Ralphie did what? <laughs> Ralphie did what? <laughs> His first joke was, how y'all get how many black people on a slave ship? I was like, oh, and they told him to leave that night? <laughs> they made it look like you got right from the stage no. on a helicopter and put back on shore. No, 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 no. I stayed on the ship. Hilarious. I stayed on the ship, and everybody was like, man, you, you got balls. No, more. no, no, they wouldn't let me perform no more. <laughs> <laughs> right? And, and I, just, I was like, look, I came to tell jokes. My, I was nice at first. Y'all boo me, okay? All right, and you want me to apologize? No, no, I'm not doing that, and I ain't hiding from nothing. Okay? Got, that's when you get back in line to buffet for some more pizza. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you. <laughs> you I want fuck up all the pizza. All the pizza, Jack. I want pineapple on it. I'm fucking up black people. I'm bring up pineapple. All right? I'm like, fuck a pineapple. All right? Put pineapple on it, Jack. I fuck them up. And green peppers. Black people don't like green peppers, neither on the pizza. <laughs> All right, so it's like, I got you, Jack. I got you. Don't move. Ralphie Mays in the building. Oh, yeah. We're going to ask him all the shit that we know about. <laughs> it's Fox O Radio. Speedy and Friends and I be. Speedy. Speedy and Friends and I be. Speedy. Up in this. Pew, 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 pew. Nigga, I'm paying attention. What the fuck you want? What the fuck is your pew's muffled? Pew. Usher was on. We were listening oh, to exactly, Usher. Uh, in the building, we got. Mark Howard represented. In the building we got. Ralphie May. In the building we got. Lord S. Gonzalez, the Panamanian bombshell. In the building we got. Kanisha Bust a Bust. Funny Bone in this bitch. Yep. In the building we got. <laughs> the USS Amistad. Teeter. <laughs> <laughs>
Give us a, on the wheels still. DJ always, always in your ear. In your, and taking pictures. Cparnell45 at gmail.com or coolguyp on Instagrams. Whatever. Uh, Ralphie Mays in the building. Hi, everybody. Yeah, if you want to conversate with us right now and say something to Ralphie, just go to our website, which is uh, Speedy and Friends at on the Speedy and Friends dot net. And uh, we have a live chat board there, so if you want to get in, uh, so Ralph got put. No, you didn't get put off the cruise, but no, no, you I just had didn't, to walk I around in humility. Oh my God! Man, it did was you like no wonder time. nobody saw me because every black person was avoiding me. Oh my God! It was like <laughs> now, did, I've never been. Did a you bring somebody like with that. you, like a date? Or? No, no, I was on so there all fuck. by myself. Even the comedians, like like they'd hang out with me when it was just us. They avoided me like the plague. Oh my God! It was like I was in the underground railroad, but the opposite. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. But the opposite. <laughs> like I was running from them, okay? It's like they was hiding me. So Damn, that's some lonely shit. They see shit. some bow ties Damn. coming. They're like, "Ruby, come in this cabin." <laughs> <laughs> They get low, get low. Get low, Ralphie, man. Rule that way. I was on the cruise for another three days. Wow. Oh, oh man, it was so oh, funny. Oh, I know oh. the feeling. So, so funny. So you would show up and walk into a place and it just... And then, <laughs> de- leave. <laughs> Got told, don't come to the shows. Don't come to what? the... Yeah, don't come. Don't don't even be in there. Those black only shows. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ralphie, did you have... When they have the uh, dinner with the captain, did you get the... No. No? No, I did not. That's right, because you have to sit with people. You have to sit with people you don't know. Was the captain black? (laughs) No, he was uh, Greek. (laughs) He was Greek. But yeah, part black, bro. So you in your room where everybody's having dinner? Uh, you, yeah, basically. Or wow. I just go to the buffet where I'm sitting there with like the uh, 18 people that didn't show up for the cruise. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. Just on Twitter. Just slide cruise. your Yeah, exactly. Door. Just slide in. <laughs> Wait oh, now. That's crazy. So you didn't fuck nobody on the cruise? No, nothing. Nothing, man. I had, I had a couple uh, Prospect. of uh, prospects and then that show happened and that just disappeared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was gone. <laughs> I know. And, and it's like so funny. I, I, I forgot to tell you this one. I, I asked them if the, if the Cruise was sponsored by Cocoa Butter. I oh. <laughs> Such a dick. I see y'all some ashy people. I see you from here. I see heels all over the place. Oh. You know, them old brothers with the with wearing shoes with no socks. Okay. And a burgundy suit with a pink shirt. It's Hilarious. like, come on, Playboy. Come on. <laughs> that that crowd was so old, they just went in their own closet to get the clothes for 70s names. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You need to go shopping? Uh-uh, I'm good. I'm good. I got this. Oh my! So crazy! Goodness. Wow! But you know, and, and and I gave I gave uh, uh, I gave him as much as I could, you right. know, and I was willing to go up again, you know. I was like, all right, they didn't like that. Well, maybe something different, you know. Put me up, <laughs> give me a comic, put me up in front of them, and then just bring me up. All right, no problem. So they're in a good mood, and they're like, no, no, we're not <laughs> no. taking a chance. We're yeah. not taking a chance. So you come back to come to see the comedy show? Did they let you in? The no, no, <laughs> I couldn't. I mean, no, I could go backstage, but I. Couldn't be in with the people. Uh, Talk about Cotton Club. The <laughs> other way. Oh, oh, I, I had to go in the back door, baby. Like, and there ain't no back door on a ship. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. so did now, you, did you run into Farrakhan at any point in time? I I ran into him twice. Okay, and the brothers that were with him were scary as shit, man. <laughs> I mean, these were no bullshit brothers. I used to live off uh, Crenshaw and Adams, okay? Yeah, I, I know, know dangerous brothers, okay? <laughs> all right, they're Johnny Pastrami's, That's okay? Right. Yeah, you know yes, dangerous sir. brothers. Yes. All right? And so I knew these dudes, and I'm like, yeah, no, no. So I you even wave like, hey. Fuck no, <laughs> fuck no. I was, the, I was tra- man, I was 500 pounds trying to hide. Oh. <laughs> 500 pounds was like trying to be skinny and disappear. Okay, I was melting into the wall. Okay, I was I was stone man. And people walk by me. I don't even know y'all. Right, how y'all do it? All right, and just try to be man. I got so much hell. Now, oh my goodness. Tell me the experience. Oh, did ahead, did you skeet? Ski shooting or shuffle boy, you didn't get none of that. No, either? they no. wouldn't let you hold a gun on the no. boat. No, huh? no, and I wouldn't go where the guns are anyways because I knew if there was gonna be an accident, it was gonna be me. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and those guys, like, they look strong enough to like throw me over. Right. Okay, that's why. I, that's why I was like, damn, these guys. Farrakhan's got three dudes look like Green Mile with a bow tie. On. Okay, I ain't fucking with none of those cats. Hilarious. All right, they toss my ass over, Jack. I'll be gone. Fucking hilarious. 
hilarious, man. Uh, Ralphie Mays in the building. So yes, he is. Now, you yeah. did uh, Last Comic Standing. How was that, man? You know what? It was it was a crazy thing. We didn't yeah. know what it was going to be because we were the first season yeah, of it. Right. And and I just told him, and let's make it as funny as we can because I don't want to get canceled. All right? Because I said, <laughs> if we get canceled, it's going to kill our careers. You yeah. know that, guys? Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. We were really fucking scared at that time that if it stinks, yeah. we're done. Right. And that's why we put so many jokes into it. We did as much as we could right. and as more than the other seasons did because we wanted to be watchable and that's why the show was Emmy nominated. You right. know? That's right. And from that, you were able just to keep touring. From yeah, that I didn't mind. Uh, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's a shame you came in second. What happened was it was such a, uh, like, because I got standing O's and did different material every show. Mm -hmm. All right, because I knew I had to. Mm -hmm. um, I got told by Jay Moore that um, NBC had told him that they didn't want me on the show because I was bigger than anybody that ever been on primetime TV. Mm -hmm. They didn't want me on the show. And uh, if I didn't get standing O's and perform, they were going to get me out. Okay. And so I had added pressure. You know, right. this is my one shot. I'm fucking owning it. And yeah. I got up and did different material every time. And I even got two standing O's in one five minute set. Mm. You know, right. I, I got like two minutes in, they stood up for me. And then I had to shut them down to stand them back up. And, and that was the finals. And then they were chanting for me for like seven minutes. They were mm. saying, Ralphie. All right? and, and the people in the back, there was 3,000 people chanting. And the other contestants were like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> you went up first and did that. That shit, and I'm like, I, and I got told by Jay to come down and shut him down right. to let the show in. But you know, my first album went platinum, and then Comedy Central picked it up, and mm -hmm. and I had I'm the only person to have four one hours on Comedy Central, and then I just did uh, two more specials uh, for Netflix, and the newest one, uh, Unruly, uh, just came out uh, uh, this month. So yeah. you know, What's things are good, man. That's right. Unruly, Unruly. It's uh, it's made? it's an uh, hour and a half of fun. Yeah. Well, speaking of Unruly, we were talking about this uh, yesterday, about the whole Jamie Foxx situation. I don't know if you heard the joke that he did on... Yeah. Uh, like, with I, I, uh, with uh, Bruce, Bruce Jenner. Jenner. Man, okay, everybody needs to fucking stop, okay? Bruce Jenner is a grown-ass man, <laughs> old-ass man, that is now wearing dresses. Yeah. If I can't fuck with him... Then fuck it. We can't tell jokes no more. Okay? <laughs> Comedy is dead. All right. And you know what? And Jamie was fucking right. Yeah. Let me bust your balls because that's all he's doing. He's being a boy. Okay. He's yeah. being a man to a man. Yeah. All right. Let me bust your balls. All right. While well, you still got him. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. All right. Yeah. All right. That's a great joke. Okay. And it's like, hey, you don't want that Bruce Jenner you want me made fun of? Then stop taking pictures wearing dresses, nigga. Okay. All right. All right. You know who put on some man clothes, yeah. motherfucker. Put the wig down. Do that shit in your house, you crazy freak. Right? Don't put that shit out in public. Because right. I'm not supposed to say nothing. If I see a transvestite, I am fucking with them. All right? Unless they're black. Because I saw a dude get beat up by a black transvestite. Not a good look. Santa Monica. All right? He disturbed it. That, that guy was sucking another dude's dick. I was walking by. I see it. And then another guy yells at him. Hey, you faggot. And that, that big old queen got up and whipped his ass. And went back and sucked that guy's dick. <laughs> like, I'm gonna beat your ass, but I'm a faggot, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> right, he beat his ass. Ralphie May. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. Ralphie. Okay. Fuck okay. 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 Can we meet, wait, wait to meet your family? Really? You got sisters and all that? I do. I have two sisters and a, a brother. They're all older than me. Do, do your sisters, they, they brothers? No, no. They're all married and old. Huh. All married and old. Sorry, B. You ever did? Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. Like a Wait lot a of black guys, you... I went through a four-year black girl phase. So. Hilarious. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ralphie. You used to have the little small girl. Back yeah, in the day. What was yeah, I still got her. She's yeah. my wife now, Lana yes. Turner. Yes, yes. Okay. and uh, she, she was super cool, man. She is super, super cool, cool. Yeah. really cool chick. Um, she's like 120 pounds. Yeah, I know. It's like, what am I uh, doing with that? Are you on uh, top? Uh, yes, yes. I get in there and throw the biscuits. Don't let the fat fool you. Baby. <laughs> 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 throw the biscuits. <laughs> throw the biscuits. I get them. I get in there. <laughs> I love that, it. Can't leave that. that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave that. Give her that white biscuits. gravy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Put this mayonnaise on you. Oh, Alfredo sauce. Oh. Oh. Alfredo? Oh. So funny. She woke up like this. Oh. Now you got the kids, man? I do. Two beautiful babies. A seven-year-old little girl named April June May. And oh. a five-year-old oh, 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 little hold boy up, named hold April June hold May. Up. April June May. Try uh. to forget it, Speedy. Bet you can't. 
April, April June, June, May. What? Try to forget it, but you can. And you know, I, I mean, thought about it, it like that. Whatever you, you always. What I wanted to give my kids was that if you call up and go, "Hey, can I talk to April?" Every there's only one April. Okay, May. and your okay. son's name it, is it's August May. All right, there's only one. I wanted to name him Spartacus, but my wife wouldn't. Let me. Wow. My wife wouldn't Spartacus let me. May. Spartacus May. All right, I mean, the boy came out nine pound, nine oh. and a half pounds. Okay, yeah. twenty two inches long. Okay, and the boy's he's a he's a behemoth. <laughs> okay, he's taller than his uh, sister, and she's two years older than him. Wow. He's, he, he beat up a third grader, Jack. All right, oh. a third grader. He punched the shit out of a third grader. <laughs> I catch shit all the time, man. I oh. catch shit all the time. Like that schoolhouse. Man, we don't we don't mix well, okay? okay. All right, because uh, my kid hangs out with me and he gets my attitude, my swagger. Aww. All right, and like he he hits on moms, okay? He's like, how old is he? He's five. All right, and the boy. Okay, we're at the Central well, City Mall. We're at the, when he was three. Okay. Central City Mall. All right, he we're in the uh, in a, a, a stroller and two models from America's Next Top Model get on the fucking uh, elevator with us. All right, and these bitches are fine. I right. mean, so goddamn fine. I see, and I know they're fine, so I turn immediately and look at You don't want to get wife. in trouble. There you go. No, yeah. right, right. But Focus. out of my periphery, I still see my son's hand, his big-ass gorilla arm, went up and grabbed that girl underneath on her fat monkey. All right? He grabbed that pussy meat, okay, from heart. below and behind, and like he was picking a peach. The boy, <laughs> the boy had heart. Right, and she snaps on me. Oh, your son just touched me a very inappropriate way, but not for nothing. She's wearing them yoga pants you can kind of see oh, through without yeah. panties and she got a monster fat giner. I mean it was a big old pussy. It was like hip bone, hip bone indention, nerf football. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nice football. Grab the laces. I, exactly. And I'm like well not for nothing. He probably thought you had a full diaper. That's how we check it. She and needs a changing. Wait, he said I told you I had a full diaper. That's how we check in. That's how we Only check motherfuckers in. with kids is laughing like a motherfucker right now. Right, exactly. You don't have no kids, you're like, oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. I'll get it. But yeah, and, and uh, my wife was like, how dare you? Because she got off and we had to go up one more floor, right? Because yeah. we have to buy our pillows at fucking Bloomies. What the fuck? Nah. All right, Calvin Klein pillows, go fuck yourself. Fuck a <laughs> That's a nice right, plan, So um, she, uh, she's like, you tell your son about inappropriate touch. And I'm like, Jesus, because I could have stopped it. And she said, did you see your son do that? I'm like, no, but I could have. I mean, right. kind of, but I could have stopped it, but I didn't. I mean, I'm not going to cock block my own kids. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Let him live. So, Let him live. Uh, you're exactly. Let the boy live. So I turn him around, and he's only three. And I'm like, August, you can't touch people in their naughty spots. All right? All right? No one can touch you in your old place, and you can't touch anybody else in their old place. He goes, oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. He started crying, yeah. right? And I felt so bad. I'm like, good. Good job, son. Good job. Right, right, right. Good job. Good job. And then I smelled his hand, and my wife caught me smelling his hand. Oh. All right, all right, and, and it smelled like Cinnabon, player. It smelled like Cinnabon in his hand. Vanilla and shit. All right, and, and cinnamon. Whoo, good pussy. All right, and, uh, Hold on. Fuck's on radio. Don't move. We come right back. Ralphie May. We back. Again. We need a whole lot show right here on the Fox Show. Speedy and Friends and Ralphie May. And shit's off the fucking chain. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> Hopefully you're hitting us up on our social media right there on... Uh, Speedyandfriends.net. Yeah. Ralphie. Conversation. And that last yeah. segment was sponsored by Cocoa Butter. <laughs> <laughs> and USS Amistad. Yeah. Exactly. And Heel and toe. Heel, Heel and toe. And Remember Cinnabon. <laughs> uh, a full <laughs> diaper. <laughs> hysterical. <laughs> now, Ralphie. Yes, sir. Being from Chattanooga, hmm? Tennessee. You can't yes. speak for he shut up. He said he wanted some nougat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go back and just? You know, I, I we bought a house in Nashville. I I love it a lot because I couldn't like five dollars, wasn't it? it? It's not not bad. Man. It's not bad. <laughs> Who couldn't use a free house? You yeah, know, no just in tax savings. <laughs> okay, <laughs> three years. It's a free house, man. Who couldn't use a free fucking house? Yeah, and yeah. so that's why we bought it. Mm-hmm. And um, I just got in the savings and taxes mm-hmm. versus uh, Tennessee state income tax, which is zero. Uh-huh. And California, which is like eighteen yeah. percent. All right, fuck it. All right. I, we, we now when you go up. back and you see people that 
you knew in high school yeah. probably not doing that well. Do they like, yeah, whatever, it's fucking Ralphie Mae. You know, it's it's weird. Um, most of my friends are really cool with me because they knew oh, okay. I was going to be a comedian earlier, and, and, and nobody, including myself, ever thought I'd make it. Hilarious. Okay? <laughs> you know, you know, I just knew I was going to be funny, and fuck it, whatever happens, happens. Uh-huh. I didn't get into it and be a millionaire. You know, yeah. I just wanted to tell jokes, make people laugh. Yeah. And so that's why I went for it. But, you know, they, uh, they're they they're really cool. But I got to tell you, I tell you uh, there was a girl that turned me down mm-hmm. for the junior high prom. Yeah. That, uh, and she was dating a guy that she dated him because he was working at Sonic. Okay? Wow. All right? Now, he's the just the manager of Sonic. And she's the <laughs> assistant manager of Sonic. And so it all fucking works out, man. All right, it all right. works out. It you know, out. I didn't get none of that paper cut giner, but God damn it, hey, she, she don't get to live a millionaire life. Here. You know what I mean? So fuck you, bitch. Yeah. You know, get Give me number a number one three. With fucking, yeah, yeah. get your number with cheese. <laughs> Self-employed. <laughs> Hilarious. Ralphie Bay, in the building. Go ahead, somebody. Uh, uh, oh, I was going to ask you, yes, I don't know baby. if you're talking about it, about what happened over at the Avalon Theater, about you being mistreated um, over uh, what was going on with the weed situation or everything that was going on over there. Oh, in, in Grand Junction, yeah. Colorado. Okay, yeah. In Grand Junction, I got accused of being on a lot of shit, okay, <laughs> that I wasn't. Yeah. I was. I had a sinus infection, yeah. and uh, here's the real. I have a problem with uh, knowing how much of anything yeah, because I'm a big guy, yeah. all right? And so I took every cold medicine I had, <laughs> right. okay, and it made me jittery as shit, all right? And I couldn't, I was like, I felt weird as fuck, you yeah. know, itchy on my face. And so I tried to temper it with a little NyQuil, okay? Now, I didn't know that the cap on top of the NyQuil is a measuring cup. My wife made fun of me for that, okay? But I'm like, uh, I ain't never seen that measuring cup in the dishwasher, so you're just a dirty bitch. <laughs> be dumb, but you're dirty. Right? 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 So I, I I, would just drink as much as I think it would take. And, right. You know, you play NyQuil roulette. Every guy does. Right. Right. One guy yeah, I do that fucking thing. gets a spoon. It's yeah. like, fuck it. It's yeah. like, hey. I'm trying to get well right now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I might I might go to sleep for six hours or two days. It's a dice roll. Right. You know what happens. All right? If it's a hard eight, fuck it. I'm out. Okay? Yeah. Hard uh, eight. Okay? So I, uh, I, I did that and did the show. Okay? And they said that I was slurring. The what problem was, the mic system, uh, the sound system in the theater was set up by a DJ. Yeah. Okay, and so he had all of his equipment, but it's so heavy in bass, it was reverberating, right. like feedback all yeah. the time. So every time you get your volume up a little bit, yeah. it would just reverberate for no reason. So I would have to start a sentence and then pull off the microphone. And wait, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and that that made it seem like I was slurring, mm-hmm. but I wasn't. And, and I did two hours. Okay. Yeah. All right. Afterwards, I come off the stage and there's cops waiting on me, and they're like, uh, "Ralphie, we need to search you. Uh, we've had reports that you're on cocaine." Is and that I'm a like, comedy show? At, yeah. at a comedy theater show, and I'm like, "Cocaine, gentlemen, this is no way to make detective. If you think you know, <laughs> right, right, you know, right. 430 pounds is on cocaine, the fact that I'm alive should yeah. dispel that." Right, and then they said they they asked me if I was on a Quaaludes, and I'm like, Qua- fuck! I wish, I wish. Do you have any? Yeah, I'll buy them. I've got cash. Right. All right, yes, cash. officer. I, in front of your partner, are soliciting you for control of narcotics right. that are extinct. You dumb fuck. Nobody's ever extinct. had those. I would love to have Quaaludes, but nobody's had them in twenty fucking years. That's a scarface. I I'd I like a. I'd like a uh, two quaaludes and uh, LSD. Uh, 20 grams of fucking triceratops. Stink <laughs> <laughs> shit, you dumb fucks. All right, and then they accuse me of uh, supposedly, and this, and we go outside and there's cameras and shit, yeah. and I'm yelling at them, and, and, and TMZ saying I'm slurring, but they mm. have video of me talking, not slurring. Yeah. It's like, it's like they just made shit up. Right. And then they go, that report was that I kicked. A kid with cerebral palsy hey. wheelchair into wow. a snowbank. That's what. Okay, all right, Speedy. I'm gonna say I hate 
hate true. kids. Let's say I hate kids. Let's say I hate people with cerebral palsy, which I don't, okay? Yeah, right. Right. They're pretty cool dudes. Okay, let's say I hated that. All right, what's the over-under on me getting my fat leg up to kick a wheelchair into a fucking <laughs> snowbank? 14 inches? Right. Motherfucker, that's impossible. Okay, you're crazy. All right, and, and it's just like the... So they made up all these lies, so they finally, three days later, called me up and asked me, hey, Ralphie, uh, do you have a statement about Grand Junction? And I go, yes, all you've done is make up lies. All right, and it oh. wasn't what happened, so I'll continue. Um, last thing I remember before going out on stage was saying, yes, Mr. Cosby, I'd love another cocktail. Oh! Right? That's right. terrible. <laughs> and then the rest of the shit just blended away, Jack. All right? Fucking hilarious. Ralphie Mays in the building. I love you. The king of controversy. <laughs> yes. One of them. I didn't know Tim Z be following you like that. Dude, Tim Z, yeah. they Hell love yes. me, man. They, they just do. got on to me at the airport, and it caused this big drama. You know, the, the roast of Justin Bieber, oh, where well, I, there was three comics that made Paul Walker jokes. Yeah. All right? And Luda was there uh, promoting his album, mm -hmm. okay, and took offense at a roast. Okay, you can't take offense at a roast. Right, yeah. That's number one. All right, that's why you're there. But those Paul Walker jokes never would have happened if Ludacris wasn't there promoting his movie and promoting his new album. Okay, oh, I mean, the, 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 the roast there. happens on, airs on Monday and Luda's Lunaversal drops on Tuesday. Right. You know, it's, right. come on, motherfucker, it's so transparent. Okay. Uh, Luda's in the building. You want to talk to him? Uh, fuck yeah, bring him in. <laughs> bring him in. I'll talk to him. All right? Because Paul Walker, not a saint. Not a saint. Okay? Yeah. Before you boo-hoo. All right? Dude, just just Google. All right? He was 32 dating a 15-year-old girl. Allegedly. Right? No. No, was no, no. Oh, no. She's, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows it. Okay? It's out now. She's 23. Gracious, but the guy should have been in jail. He shouldn't have made, you know, uh, yeah. Fast and Furious 5, 6, or 7. So you're saying it's open season. <laughs> Yeah, Innocent. yeah, exactly, exactly. You're no, you're right. no saint, okay. And Luda was there for his own selfish reasons, okay. Yeah. All, right. All right, but it's like don't boohoo at a roast. Now, did you, did you bag on uh, Justin? I, I didn't at the roast, okay. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I wrote some jokes for some people and just left it alone. Oh, okay. And, you know, I, I don't like to, I, I don't like doing the whole roast thing okay. because I'm not that mean. Like, and, and it, oh. when I do do roast, I get mean, okay, and I don't like it when I get mean. You know, okay. it's like, um, like, have you ever written roast jokes? No. Nah. Okay, do it, okay, or bags on people, okay? Yeah. Like, you know, no, that's slamming. what we do to him. Exactly. <laughs> I, all right. And, uh, you get into that mode. Where you're doing it all the time, yeah. Right. Like, yeah. like you get mean and like yeah. you crush like innocent people. <laughs> like, like, like you're just in a drive-through. Oh, you cheap dumb motherfucker. Okay, I, you're like what? What? Wow. Why did this shit just leave my mouth? Okay, because I just got mean. Roast mode. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You're in roast mode, and it just you're evil. You know, and and it just, it gets in you. It takes like a week to shake off. You know, those guys. I mean, it really is. All right, night cool for that. Don't move. Yes. Ralphie may go stick around. We, we got some more. Shit to kind of pull out of you, no pun intended. Uh, Ralphie Mays in the building. Yes, Be right back. Is. Fox on Radio. It's a rollout show. Oh, I like that. You're supposed to be dancing too, Ralphie. Getting money like I'm Yeah. Yeah. Booty like race. All right, here we go, you guys. Wow. Fox on Radio. We got to uh, read. We got to get to. Mark Howard, you ready, man? Yes, sir. Let's do this thing, man. Let's get this money. When was the last time you changed your oil? Did you change it yourself or have someone else do it for you? If you ask yourself for just plain oil, you probably got bad oil. You need more better oil. But what good is even the greatest oil of oils if deep down inside it screws with your engine? It's called Black Crush Oil plus 10W40. That's a more better oil than others. Black Crush 10W40 won't thin down like most other oils, and you can use it all year round. If your, neck, if your next oil check is, in a, is at a crush station, it could be the most important thing you've ever done for your car since the first payment on it. Black Crush Oil Plus has a detergent, deterrent that helps clean up a dirty engine and keeps it clean. It suspends dirt so that you flush it out every time you change your oil. Dirt that might lead to stalling, engine noise, big repairs, even engine failure. So the next time you need your filter fixed, Think Crush. Mark Howard, thank you, man. Yeah. Crush Motor Oil. That Black, is the name of it, right? Black Crush Oil. Thank you, Spot. You were a little nervous, y'all. 
Don't let them fuck oh, well, with you, man. I, they gave it to me, and I didn't chance to get a full read through it. But, you know, right. he did good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Lourdes? Mute my mic. <laughs> <laughs> you think he fucked it up? Mute my mic. Oh, man. Hey, Ralph, you need somebody to open up here? <laughs> <laughs> Ralphie made in the building. I could do a cool seven. Oh, shit. <laughs> I need some money, Watch man. Watch out. Dad, you I don't up. know if I'd deal with you. You're, you're a lot of drama. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. not, I'm just the only one that keep it real. I, that's I'm always new, drama. I'm okay. New, I'm don't nobody want it real, okay? Nobody keep it real, my fucking ass. Don't, keep, don't keep, nobody keep want it real. real. Back, I can't right? sugarcoat shit, man. No, I don't I don't want it real. I don't want a woman telling me the truth. You medium dick motherfucker. Fuck for shit. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. I like a bitch who can steady lie. Okay? Exactly. I like it's a so lot big. of well constructed lies. Exactly. Makes well me feel good. Well constructed. Ralphie May in the Fuck building. a bunch of keep it real. Uh, where's the next show for you? Uh, Tuesday, uh, tomorrow in um, uh, uh, Tucson, and then San Diego Friday, mm-hmm. and then back here in Los Angeles at the Shrine on Saturday night. What's right. happening at the Shrine? Uh, the Kevin and Bean Amper Foolishness. It's a uh, white people show. White thing. Oh, okay, cool. yeah. but, but Gabriel Place is going to be there in a couple of... Gil was funny. Yeah. Gil was very... Yeah. He, and his following is... No, it's almost on the same level as George Lopez. George Lopez's yeah. following is a beast. Right. They're beasts. And Gilbert... Yeah. Phew, yeah. They go everywhere. Yeah. They travel. They buy, they buy so much shit, man. Shit, man. Gosh. Yeah, Gabe's got so much... He's got an him. Ikea in the mall. You know, one of those little oh, carts kiosk? in the mall. Yeah, yeah. he got one of the kiosks in the mall. I'm yeah. Like, Damn. Damn. He's getting it. He's getting paid. Yeah, he's I getting can't it. be mad. You know, because I knew I knew that guy when he first started, before mm. he did his first comedy set yeah. on TV. Yeah. I met him in San Antonio, and he was only like a year into comedy. And he picked me up when I came to L.A. the first time in his mom's car. Wow. All right? That guy's fucking real. Yeah. And the first thing he asked me when we got into that car was, hey, let's go to Sizzler. All right? All right? That was his first thing. Let's go that kick in a buffet. Let's go fuck up a Sizzler. So that's what we did. We went to the one on Western and fucked it up, Jack. Now, do you get family members calling you going, hey, man, I want to do comedy, too. Come out there on the road. And- no, no, <laughs> no. But I have them call, hey, fix my house. Okay? <laughs> hey, buy me a truck. Okay? <laughs> Shit like that. Okay? <laughs> White people are the worst. Fix they fucking house. beg. They're fucking motherfuckers. <laughs> it's like, go make your own money, motherfucker. All right? You fucking worthless. How do they find you, Ralphie, if somebody wanted to follow oh, you man, and all that good shit? Oh, man, I am uh, RalphieMade.com is the website for all the dates. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Ralphie, at Ralphie underscore May, and I'm on Instagram at Ralphie May. All right, so gotcha. I'm going to give you a chance to get one more shot in. Yeah, B. The people on the crew. <laughs> <laughs> one more joke you would have hit them with before you oh, left. Oh, man, I, I wanted to be great. I didn't want to fuck them up. Uh, you know, it wasn't my thing. I, I One more. You got one more to say. I got nothing Here's your part. You got to hit that party I tried one. to block so much of that fucking trip out. I'm surprised I remembered as much as I did, <laughs> to be honest with you. I knew they had a Johnny Rock gets up on the top. Okay, I, I fucked him up over to Johnny Rockets. All right. That's all I remember. Johnny uh, eating by myself, fucking lonely eating, all sad, eating two burgers. Nobody there eating two burgers with tater tots, just sad, eating by myself. I had all this weed thinking I was going to be the cool white guy bringing right. me to the cruise. I was smoking weed by myself. Then, well, you know you done pissed off black right. people when nobody wants to hit your weed. Yeah. Right. That's a bad day. That's a bad that day. Bad. I got 5,000 people on a, bl- on a ship and not one of them wants to hit my weed. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh, God. I'm surprised black people didn't yourself. try to kill me. I know, man. I know. Oh, thank God black people give me a chance. You, know? now, uh, you sell t-shirts, all that stuff? Oh, yeah. We doing? got t-shirts. I've got great barbecue sauce. Um, oh, family, really? Yeah, it's jalapeno molasses barbecue oh. sauce. And it's the best thing to put on your meat since lips. It's bone. Wow. It's is, that bone the, is that what it's saying on the bottom? Yes. <laughs> yes. And I also got spice rubs and stuff like that. Making, you know. Where's I'm, it at? You didn't bring that. B, I will bring you a bunch. Oh, no yes. worries, Speedy. You got it, Daddy. Done Ralphie and done. Come on, man. I'll bring up a mess of sauce and 
and y'all try to tell me it ain't good. All right, because that's one thing. Even black folks here in in L.A. they can't get no good barbecue. No. Me. no. I mean, the barbecue out here it's all white. And, you know, they all healthy and shit. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, it's like uh, put leno on it. Yeah, it's leno. Huh? Exactly. All right, they got uh, they got tabuli yeah. at a barbecue place. You're like, what the fuck tabbouleh. with tabulis? Okay, no, I, that's why I'm now, going next week to Memphis. Yes, I cook. I was a wow. chef, and I'm bona fide. That's my recipe, my barbecue sauce. Uh, it's really good. Mm, it's really fucking bona fide. So if somebody's listening to the show, how do they get the sauce? Uh, just uh, RalphieMay.com. That's it? All the mm-hmm. sauce. I've got sauce, aprons, spices, all you need for your barbecue. You got them four X's and aprons? You Fuck yeah. <laughs> big enough to fit my fat ass. <laughs> big enough for you. You got some Jack Daniels in that barbecue sauce? Tennessee? No, no, no. But I am like Jack Daniels. I tell you, used to tell okay. women that I'm from Tennessee and I'm a hard liquor. All right. <laughs> That's oh, how you get the black oh. girls. That's how you get black girls. You put that out there. All right. <laughs> Did you make your own barbecue sauce and you're a hard liquor? <laughs> Shit. You might be. That shit works. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly, and uh, you know, I, I, that's how I get black girls. I walk up to them, and go, "Hey, what if I just eat your pussy for fifteen minutes? We we'll see where your head's at." <laughs> 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 ah, you'd be okay. surprised how many women go. I'll, uh, now, let me get this right. After 15 minutes, I can just leave? Yes, if you want to. I bet you won't. All right, and, and let's try. And I only had one walk out. All right, but hey. I tried that. I got the shit slapped out of me. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? You got to be personal about it. Oh, you know, okay. I tell girls I got a medium dick. All right, if y'all are ready for it after, the, I'll be right over here. What? Within 45 minutes, one of those girls would come up to me. Medium? Did you brag about having a medium dick? And I'd be like, yes. Medium, six inches to the base, legit measure. I'm not trying to kill nobody. Six is medium. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah that's it's a, a nice medium, medium yeah, dick. Like okay, it. all right, and, and it's like I say, all those big dick guys, they all want to punch y'all in the liver. Okay, and they <laughs> fuck up pussy too. Okay, yeah. they, you all, old girls have seen one pussy. They, they have a friend from college and made bad decisions, <laughs> and she got to tuck her pussy in her panties and shit like that. Okay, all right, or like one lip is fucked up and it looks like a washed wallet. <laughs> You know, all fucking flabby and shit, looking like made out of hound dog chow. <laughs> Not me. I leave that pussy just like I found it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let us pause. Here. Washed, wallet. <laughs> washed wallet. Now, for a second, we can all close our eyes and picture how yes. that fucking. Wallet. I've washed my wallet before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. like, and oh, I didn't man. see a pussy in it. I just didn't see a pussy in it. It's like an ink blotter. What do you see here? A washed wallet or a pussy? Yeah. Whichever oh, one. Pussy, whatever. <laughs> Foxhole Radio. Ralphie May has killed this wallet. shit. Yes. Yeah. I love you guys. Y'all can't do nothing about it. And, Man, anytime uh, you want to come back, bro, just B, come I'll on. roll through. But you're going to bring the, the rubs. Barbecue sauce barbecue and rubs. Sauce. I'll come next week. Don't play, bro. I ain't going to. We know I ain't gonna. We find you I'll on the barbecue cruise. up some food and bring it in here. Don't play. No, oh, black man. people in here. Come on, come come on Ralph. Fine. I'll cook it. You got it. We what y'all like? For what you. you want? What you bring? Okay, mm-hmm. done. I like pork. Don't nobody around here like pork meat. I like pork. Y'all, y'all, y'all. You don't eat pork? Yeah, he's a... He's left out. More for us. Yeah. More for us. Don't tell worry about it. You don't bring that barbecue. I'll tell Farrakhan what to find. Okay. All right. <laughs> but tell him I'm cooking pork. That'll keep him away. That'll right. keep him away. <laughs> Ralphie May. May. One more time, man. Tell him how I to love reach you, you bro. I am on you. RalphieMay.com. You can reach me on Twitter. Hit me back. It's, I really monitor my own shit on Twitter. Uh, at Ralphie underscore May. I love you the most. You can't do nothing about it. And uh, oh, just for the record, we do have great barbecue in Compton, Bledsoe's. I must give a shout out to Bledsoe's. B, I've been to that one. Yeah, I was the only white guy out there, and it ain't no real deal, G. Mm. You gotta go. You gotta get that <laughs> Memphis barbecue, son. I bet he got real shit on the barbecue. Man, though. hey, I, I I make the barbecue that killed Kennedy, B. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Which one? He ate my rib. He ate my rib, and his head went oh. back into the left. Back into the left. That's how good ribs I make. Back into the left, Jack. The viewers of the Roller Morning Show do not always reflect some of the guests. I gotta go. It's Fox on Radio. Back into the left. Yeah. You're listening to the best of the Rollout Morning Show with Speedy and friends in New York. Uh oh. On the phone right now. Yeah. On the phone. On my show. Always. On the rollout show right oh. here. Uh, always. You know, thank you, brother, for throwing. Throw that on. Throw that on. Appreciate that. Please put your hands together. And thanks for hanging out with us, too. Wale is on the phone. Yeah. Wale. What's your name? What it do? What's going on? What up, homie? Oh, chilling, man. It's speedy in the building. And, and I'm going to do this up first because I just found out. We have the same birthday, man. Uh, September 21st. For sure, Virgo. Yeah, yeah Virgo's. I think we got some friends in common, too, Wale. You know, LeGreg? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I went to uh, VSU. Florida. It's Florida. I went to state. I went, I went to state too. You went to state? What, what year? Because yeah, yeah. everybody keeps telling me we was in class together. I'm like, I oh. don't. I was in probably, I think, 04. Oh, I was in Iraq. I was in, I was in 04. I was there for a semester, though. I, I Were you on the football team? Yeah, I got I got kicked off. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Um, little, little argument with the coach. Yeah, the public. just a little public. argument. I want to play. Yeah, I was a woo woo. What, what'd you play? Corner oh, or something? You was, you was woo woo. Yeah, I was a woo 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 woo. You real? When, when you was a woo woo? I was a woo woo oh too. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh-huh. look. Greg is my uh, true foundation brother. That was before I got there, but I love the woo woos. <laughs> 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 now I'm gonna throw this out there. My 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 first my thing of hearing your music was with uh, uh, Walker Flame. On on the uh, remix of the of a Wetchcom song, and my kids, my daughter who is now nine, but when she when it first came out, they knew all everything you were saying. I don't know how they knew that, but they knew your whole spill, man. And ever since then, I like this brother got mad flow, man. How was it working on that, and how did that really change your life? Um, well, it was, it was good. I, I just remember being real tired that day, real. Um, I just was like, right, you know, it was Atlanta at four in the morning. So, Shit. <laughs> Waffle House, all the clubs, you already done, done. You yeah. already done blew your old knot off. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, you know, my man was in the studio with me, and, and Gucci. Had just, the only reason I was there is because Gucci just came home and, and he had a dinner uh-huh. for everybody. And um, I came back to the studio to work with Gucci after the after um after the club because he he was still uh. You know, in seclusion. Yeah. And but he wasn't there. Yeah. And um, Walker was like, "Yo, you know, I ain't even know him at the time." He was like, "Yo, come here. I want you to hear this record." And he was like, "You want to keep put a little like a, like a sixteen on here?" So I kind of rushed through it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, "I was like, ain't nobody gonna ever hear this song." <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "I was like, Walker, dude, we got a hundred songs out. And this song's gonna get buried under." A uh, hundred other songs. Yeah. And then, you know, like a week later, that joint was on the radio, and then the rest is history. Yeah. God damn, man. All right, so uh, tell our listeners about this new album, man. Everybody's losing their mind over this. I'm thing. losing my mind. Well, it ain't about nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually about everything, but um, yeah. you know, it, um, you know, it's just a play on words, a little dry humor. Right. Um, it's just about me, man. It's just an honest, like, it's probably like the most honest album in hip hop this year. You know, not to say nobody's out, nobody else is honest, but it's just like even uncomfortably honest. And some things I don't even like talking about, like in interviews. Like I just like just wanted to direct, want to direct people to specific songs that answer questions or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, it's a, it's an important point in my career. It's my fourth album. I ain't no little boy no more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You and um, you know, I, I, I'm matured in front of the world. You know, not a lot of people can say they did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have mature because like I'm listening to the album. You know, I've I've been down since the mixtape. You know, the mixtape about nothing. So you know, to hear you talking about marriage, you know, matrimony. That I was just like, oh, this boy done grew up. Like, mm-hmm. like what inspired that song? Like, are you are you got a special lady in your life? Like, what's going on? Like, what's- life life inspired it. Like, you know, um, I just wanted to. Like you know, like when I do interviews and like, and I can't think of how to answer questions, I, I go back to it when I'm writing music, and you know they always ask me what I feel about like, do I have a special person? Is that third? Like, and I just went back to like the last woman that I really, really cared about in that in that that way, and how deep it was, and you know um, how tough dealing with a miscarriage was when when, you, when I was ready for it <clears throat> this time, wow. and you know I just kind of aired it all out, and um, you know. Uh, there's a, a a young lady I won't even say her name but you know the first time I ever dated a celebrity like I really got my heart broke Aww. you know what I'm saying like and you, you know can tell I, us, man. I, we, we ain't gonna tell nobody it's, it's in the matrimony <laughs> it's in the match. It's a, you gotta listen to the second verse oh okay I did it's I was, in it I, you, it's, you, I'm, I'm telling you, you, you if you somebody calling this line they, they gonna know who I'm talking about like oh. people know like if you know you know okay. you know what I'm saying and okay. I love it like I love it when it's like that cause you challenge people to, mm-hmm. to get a little bit more into your brain yeah, so okay. I, this is Lord as again. I'm going to just keep it. It's the VSU love. We're going to keep that together. Woo, woo, woo. So, uh, you know, uh, the mixtape about nothing, it was, you know, anybody who's who seen the cover just off top, they already know. It's like, oh, that's Seinfeld driven. Like, and yeah. then now, you know, the album about nothing, you have Seinfeld all over it. Like, are y'all, like, how did well, he. It's a get- joint project. It's a joint project. People don't believe. Really- he, I mean, I, like we don't. It's never really worded like that for some reason, but mm-hmm. yeah, uh, maybe because it's more in my lane than his. But it's a joint project we're That's doing dope. together, and um, you know, he's kind of 
he kind of lays like the thesis for every song. Yeah. Or, you know, we might use the excerpt from one of the shows. Um, you know, just yeah. my little way to be creative and and bridge the gap and and show like the parallels and you know our lives and 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 his life and in, in the show. And 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 this is Speedy again. And I heard you're a mad fan. I'm gonna say this: like when Seinfeld first came out, I didn't watch it, and then someone told me, "Dude, you gotta watch it." So when it got yep, into same reruns, thing with me. Yep. And I watched it, and re- dude, I couldn't, I couldn't shake it. I was like, yeah. every day I gotta watch it. Yeah. And especially the one when Kramer was washing the food. He washed all <laughs> the, the food shower. In the shower. Yeah, 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 in the shower. But I tell you, I lost <laughs> he had the my phone in there. Yeah. <laughs> he had a garbage disposal, and, and they were all like, "Yo." You, you made the food, yeah. I, yeah. Could, I made all the food. I washed it in the shower. One of, uh, <laughs> fucking lost my mind. One of my favorite uh, analogies that was on your album was the helium b- balloon. Like, yeah. h- did he come up with that, or was that a joint collaboration on that thought? He just we just talk in the studio, and um, you know, the same way I listen to the OGs, and you know, like you know, my my homies in the pen, like you know, that that, that school me, or or a lot of my men that just come home that learned that learned a lot about life. I listen to Jerry the same way. You know, I don't know if you guys know who Wayne Perry is, yeah. but um, no. he's like one of the most notorious, like you know guys in D.C. history yeah. and you know not to say it in a glorifying way because he shows a lot of remorse for what he's done in his life but he, he makes it his issue to to try to rectify a lot of his wrongs and instill a lot of the rights in me because I'm the voice of Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. You, you know go. what I'm saying I listen to him the same way I listen to Jerry Jerry just ain't got multiple bodies you know what I'm saying but yeah. I listen to them the same way right. and you know I try to I try to instill some knowledge into yeah. our people. And, you know, I'm not like an older dude. I'm more of a, on the younger side, but I still try to, like, instill, like, what I learned from the older people, mm-hmm. whether it be older people that school me when I bump into them on the road, or it could be somebody like Raekwon. It could be a program director. It could be a DJ. I just try to, you know, be a sponge to everything, you know, because there's not very many rappers that, you know, I have an emphasis on like the thinking man. You know, mm-hmm. the America's worst fear is of thinking black man with mm-hmm. some money. Mm, you know don't. what I'm saying? And, you and I'm trying, to, and I'm trying to motivate all of us. You know, yeah. youngers to do like that. Now, if you just tuning in right here on the Rollout Show, we got Wale on the phone. We appreciate him being here. Tyron, you had a question for him? Yeah. Hey, what well, this Tyron Turner? What's up, man? Uh, how did you feel about the uh, the Fox joke? Or did you hear it? Or do you know what's going on with that? What Fox joke? Uh, <laughs> as far as uh, Bruce Jenner. I ain't know that. Yeah, look, everybody's look, look. having a problem with the particular joke he did. Who? And, and, uh, the social media. The haters. Social media, yeah. You know, because they're saying he pushed a joke too far. Who did? Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Jamie oh, okay. Foxx. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to, I just met him, actually. And um, we did uh, Major and Peterson's 30th birthday together. Oh, okay. But what, yeah. when, what, did he, what did he say? He basically said, uh, <laughs> you know, if Bruce Jenner is putting out an album, he would uh, do a duet with himself. Uh, <laughs> and he was like, I don't care. I'm going to bust his balls while I can, you know, because, you know, Bruce is transcends into uh, to being a woman. So that's official. Or, I, I thought that was like a rumor. I thought nah, that was- oh, son, that's official. A, that's, you that's been in the stamp. studio, man. That's <laughs> stamp. Oh, man. I, you know, I, I'm like the last person in the, I didn't even know they were like younger Kardashians. I didn't know. <laughs> I, thought, I didn't. I didn't know that. Like, I thought Kim was like, you know what I'm saying. I yeah, was, like, the only one. Huh? I just thought it was him. And, uh, I mean, her yeah. and um, the, Chloe. I didn't know that like, there were like more. And yeah. then, then they had different last names and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So but it's I'm like, like the, I'm like the non. I don't even know about that world. Like I just know like, <laughs> the most I do is like <clears throat> watch Love Hip Hop and and, no. um, and Empire. Empire. But oh, I watched yeah. it. I watched that because <clears throat> I spent so much time on the tour bus and like you know when you're you got twelve hour drives like you need something. Nah. So, you know so let me ask you this: Empire or Power? Uh, I, me personally. I, I like Empire, but, I, but it might be because it's the it was what was on the most recent. Like okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, I, right. It might be some out of sight, out of mind shit yeah. going on. But mm-hmm. um, you know, they both have their downsides. Yeah. I feel like Empire might even have more because you know, like when Taraji be like, "Yo, what type of ish is that?" I'd be like, "Yo, <laughs> yo, Fox, yo, yo, chill out, Fox. Yo, do it too much, out. son. Do it too much." And then when the dude was like battle rapping, like I'm gay, <laughs> like, like I'm all for like I'm all for or like gay rights and all that like let those like my favorite designers are gay like I don't have no problem with that but like I don't think you're representing the, the gay community in the proper manner by having a battle rapping singing like yeah, ballad that was fun like, when he had with the to... bitch he was like bitch yeah. Yeah, like, I was like I was like I was like yo come on yo and then he, come play, on, he placed his mic down he ain't slamming don't yeah. don't don't <laughs> fuck with our like intelligence like yo we watching we tuned in like don't be don't slap us in the face like 
Like, yeah. don't, like, come on. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it is a very addictive show, though. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Yeah. And, and it's, you're employing a lot of, like, young black yeah. actors. Love it. Love and that. I just, you know, what we can get into it at some point later down the road. But I, my long term goal is to just, you know, to redefine black Hollywood. Like, yeah. I think we can do it. I think. There are the platforms with, with with Sirius XM and like, you know, a couple of like younger artists that you know, and a couple of like the who's who. We can re, we can recreate a, a new Black Hollywood and. Not to say we got to shout out white people or nothing like that, but we we can create a new Black Hollywood and and and, and greenlight some of these movies and some of these ideas because you know they are there there isn't any any stories about this generation, so our children ain't going to even be able to document none of this yeah. like our lives. Like we we can document L.A. in the '90s because of uh, 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 South Central and, and Minnesota Society and Boys right. in the Hood. We can we can document it. We can't document nothing from like the, the late uh, I mean to the 2000s yet. Yeah. Right. No, there's right. no there's no movies that define our culture no. and that's a problem you know what I'm saying like there's no John Singletons there's no there's no bellies there's no more yeah. belly oh belly was goodness. the last oh. belly was the last yeah. movie or state property yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying or paid in full or yeah. well, paid in full is actually about the 80s but like you know there's no there's none of that and yeah. that's my next kind of goal is to you know empower I'm not trying to say I want to be an actor or be like you know but I want to empower help somehow empower yeah like you know there's a, there's a, there's a, there's somewhere there's there's a kid somewhere that probably that you know probably come from low income housing that 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 studies movies and studies all of these things and won't get a chance because there's no black movies being greenlit you know what I'm saying no. and they're putting they're slapping <clears throat> they're slapping a fucking pair of cornrows on Shamar Moore oh, <laughs> like <man. laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, you do you gonna do stand up too, my dude? Cause you got some funny. jokes. That was funny. They, they 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 slapping a pair of cornrows on Shamar Moore and doing the same watered down um, storyline with a Tyler Perry movie. Mm. You know, I just want to see like you know the, some young kids write some movies and tell them to like let's document what's going on in, in today in the world of Twitter in the world yeah. of uh, Snapchat in the world of um, you know. STDs, mental illness, obesity in the black community, like you know, violence, gang violence, like what's going on in Chicago? Why are there so many? Why are there so many uh, bodies popping up? Mm -hmm. Like why right. isn't that being documented on the mm -hmm. silver screen? You, you know go. what I'm saying? Like it, we have a very rich and disastrous uh, culture and in, 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 in environment and community, and it's not being documented. No. Yeah, we, so yeah. like 10, 20 years from now, they're just gonna be like, oh, so you mean to tell me like the the three hundred, four hundred? 500 people were were killed in Chicago in a year and we don't really know why. We don't know why, why these gangs are at war. We don't know why because we, it ain't being documented in these movies and they kind of killing our culture. They they killing us off and mm. and then even the voices the voices of our people like you know they they it seems like anytime they can substitute us for somebody that's not of it, they'll do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like, put our, in then, space. you know, okay, we'll put um, this rapper here. But yeah, he's not from. But we'll, we'll take the sound and we'll, you know, and like you taking away our young poets, we taking away our our, our rites of passage, and you know, and I don't want to sound all like after school special on Too late. Niggas, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just I want yeah. that. I want that. I want that. And I just feel like if we got to show some type of unity amongst each other, so we can get this shit right. Right. Let's right, right. Let's do. While they don't move, we, we gotta pay some bills right quick. Stay right there. Fuck we'll the right bills, back. nigga. Fuck <laughs> 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 I'll mean, be right back. Don't move. Fox o Radio. We are back. It's the rollout show right here yeah. on the Fox o. It's your boy Speedy on the mic. On, we got right here. We got Mark Howard represent. We got her. Lord Gonzalez. All right. We got Kanisha Bus a bus. We got Ivan Turner. And on the phone. Woo -woo. On the, <laughs> on the phone, Wale. Sorry, we had to pay some bills. Can you still remember any of your drill, the woo woo skits? Of course. You know, let me tell you, anybody who's listening and don't know what a woo woo is, let me explain something to you. These are, it's really for real, for real sexist, for real, because they take the baddest <laughs> girls on campus. Yes. Uh -uh. They take, they don't, there's no such thing as the ugly woo woo. All nope. of them, like, they all look good. All of them. And for some reason, they hang around each other so much, they start to look like the same person. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> uh, but, they're, but they're super pretty, and they don't do no athletic, like, like drills, they just do like. First clapping. of all, Wale, we gonna beef right now <laughs> yeah. because y'all don't y'all don't do like flips and stuff like that. But you you guys look amazing doing like the stuff that you guys do. We, we have we 
camp. had summer marching, camp. Marching. We had su- no, we had summer camp, and we ch- also I'm a basketball player. So we they made us do like so which bas- one was it? You were, 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 were you cheering at the game or was you playing? This is we see. I only did one uh, season <laughs> of playing a woo woo because I quit for basketball season. I was like, I can't do this shit. I can't cheer for these motherfuckers. I want to play. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so I quit. You, you, semi, you just you got you you're, you're a woo then, not a woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> can you woo? woo, woo, woo. Can you woo? That's uh, all you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we actually had like summer camp, like training. Like we was there for three weeks. We had to train every day. Like we was running and shit. Like we, nigga, we do, they were all done. I, I, I not nobody ever doubted that you guys do work. I'm just saying you. There's no flipping going oh, on no. in that black. That joint, Virginia State is Hillman, bro. That joint is, is the epitome of. When you when you see like school days like that's school days two thousand you know what I'm saying like you would walk on campus <clears throat> go to Foster where all the DC <laughs> cats is at you know what I'm saying you get your little pizza yeah you know what I'm saying and you, you get see your swipes the, you, together you see the uh, you see the uh, the cappers you know you know Polly and brushing their hair doing what they do <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you see the you see the cues you know sweating somewhere yeah. just being extra they aggressive yeah. aggressive of somewhere like are you going branding. back to homecoming uh when they pay me oh. there you go. I like the I said the on, same low, thing. on the low on the low I went to Bowie State too after when I went out when I got kicked off the football team I um I transferred to Bowie State so I'm a Bowie. Bulldog too Bowie Bulldog uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Wale this is Mark Howard man I, you know the birthday is fine with Speedy and Virginia State that's great I'm from DC dude we homies we from the same sure. area Northeast Mm-hmm. And uh, Silver Spring, so we Montgomery County homies. Mm-hmm. I just want first man, you know, hey, you representing the Go Go Sound, and I grew yeah. up as the Go Go was starting, and hip hop was going, but I went with the Go Go Chuck, Raz, and all them. Uh, but I like the fact that you've taken that sound and used it and made the DC area represent with the hip hop, man. Tell us about how your journey is to that and the reception you're getting in that hip hop uh, genre. Right well, now. before I forget, I don't want to, because you just made me want to ask a question. And I, I want to know if maybe you guys can do this for your question of the day one time. Mm-hmm. Sure. But basically, I want to know if if your listeners think GoGo can go national and how. Because I really want to know, you know, what the people think. And because um, mm-hmm. that's another goal of mine is to to take that sound, you know, to a to a um but a bigger you, audience. But you but know, did you I, have a track I, like that? You had a, you yeah. Had a I mean, I'm track. talking about that. I'm talking about like real live golden. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. the band. almost yeah. almost like screw music went national. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. right. Because I just think. If Go Go goes national, like you, you, you're essentially employing so many people because yeah. it's some, mm-hmm. it's a band. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like That's you know, and it's just, and it's to me, it's like black rock and roll. You know what yeah. I'm saying, yeah. like it's it's black rock and roll. Um, so um, you know, I, I I'm 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 probably uh, venturing off of what you asked me. No, I no, forgot. no, no. That, that's I actually a, forgot, that's a good but question. I want I wanted y'all to ask I wanted y'all to ask y'all listeners at some point because I want to know what you know. We will do. It. No, we'll that, that, okay. that's so, a great. So question. let's go back. To, let's let's go back to y'all question. Now, right. I didn't want to forget my. No, that's a great point. I mean, we can stick with that a little bit because I, you know, in the sound as it came up, obviously hip hop had New York, so it blew up. Go Go was our sound. It probably hit down to Virginia, North Carolina a little bit as I come up in the eighties, but it really made a nice. They got a lot of love in Europe, England, Germany. Are you familiar with that? Because I know, like, Trouble Funk, they went over to Europe and England. They blew up. And you go... Well, Junkyard Band was actually signed to Def Jam. Yeah. You know, I actually bumped into Rick Rubin at uh, WrestleMania, and I told him, you know, my next goal is to do a go-go album, you know, so... Please. You, know, you heard it. You heard it here first. He said he's going to help help me on that. <laughs> Wait, you was at so, WrestleMania? He's absolutely. Gonna, he's going to throw that out there like you're not, like we ain't hear it. <laughs> yeah, I was I was front and center. I was I was right up in the mix. I want to be right on there, it. Right, right, I want to be on it because I can talk like uh, Funk and uh, Chuck. I can talk like that. Oh yeah, you can do the uh, lead, the lead talking joke. I can do the lead well, talking, that, man. Y'all, we gotta we see. That's another thing. Like people don't understand. Like go go. Like the the lead talker. That's that's a that's a real live like instrument. You're not yeah. you're not a rapper. You're not a you're not a um, singer, but you're a lead talker, and you're basically a you're you're a maestro. You conduct the crowd. Uh, you ad lib. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. A lot of times they actually. To say what the music, where, where which direction the music goes, and right. actually, you know, that's kind of how I got my start to to fall in love with the actual art of MCing because I used to do lead talking, uh, and 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 secondly, with like backyard or UCB okay. when I was when I was really listen band when I was real young they used to let okay. me, you know, do my thing, <clears throat> and I, I learned a lot about crowd control back back then. That's it. I was gonna yeah. ask you if you was into that too. Go ahead. 
Yo, Wale, this Tyron Turner. Uh, I want to ask you, I, and I ain't trying to disrespect you, but was you a punter? Or what, like, what, what position you played when you played why football? Would you, why would you? <laughs> <laughs> what position? You want? You want? We could get on the field and you could. You could. You could I, I would. I, ah, I like you that. You know what? I, 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 hey, I would love that. <laughs> okay. I got this. I, four, know, I got I, that four three speed over here, though. I hope you. You know I, what I mean? I that's real. That's real. I don't, I, I'm almost positive nobody in this in this business can do nothing with me on that football okay. field. Okay. I love and that. And I'm out of shape. Yeah. I'm not. I can't even. I can't even run a four <laughs> four three right now. I can't. I never could run a four three. But I know you can't do nothing with me. <laughs> okay, tell me. So, so you know this is Tyler uh, Turner. Yeah, yeah, okay. Came so, from uh, okay, uh, Minnesota. Uh, tell me this. What position though? What? Well, what I play running play? back. I play running back. Oh, okay. I play run and in high school I play quarterback, receiver, running back. Wow. Uh, Tyrant. Keep return, pump return. Now what? Okay. Uh, you, you, I was recruited by. I was recruited by. I just got more speed. That's all. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Speed ain't speed ain't them. I know a lot of niggas that got cut from the NFL that run four two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying when y'all uh, doing that, I'm gonna be cheering on the side. I got, <laughs> you gonna be a woo. I got my woo. Tyrant, you going? I'm man. You gonna you gonna get hurt? Hey, we got to figure it out. <laughs> All right, good man. We could we could get we could get a flag football game, or we could get the pads on for real. Hey, y'all hey. got insurance? Yeah. yeah nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm knocking heads off. We get the pads on. I got something to prove. It's a, <laughs> we get that Obama it's whatever, going. man. I just want to mm-hmm. say, you know, thank you, Wale. This is Lord S. Gonzalez again. Just, uh, you know, I tweeted you. How secret. many of it is y'all? It's, it's a, a bunch. It's a, it's a bunch. It's fine. But, but I'm the woo woo. So, <laughs> okay. uh, so I tweeted woo. you. Yeah, you could tweet single me. woo. Single woo. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you tweet me. Say, so make sure you tweet me single woo right now. Okay, cool. Single woo, so I can find. I'll be teach you. I'll tweet you single woo right now. But I just want to say thank you for coming on. And can you give our fans like your info, like what's going on? Tell us, like my how name you, is. My name is Wale on W-A- Instagram. W A L E, and that is Wale on Instagram and Twitter, on Snapchat Wale E B M, and everything else. You know, is not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and definitely go get that album. Fans yes. go out there and get the album. It's fire. I appreciate it's, it's, it's it. The hot Su- shit. Support support black owned businesses. That is, and uh, you get ready to do a comedy movie. You know, Speedy. Cause it, uh, I'm not a woo, but I can I can do do some jokes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. Ty, Ty, Tyra, got me get a uh, motherfucking uh, roll or something, bro. Come on, I'm man. Trying, let's do I'm something. I'm trying to leave this rap shit alone, man. <laughs> Come on, let's do bro. something, man. All right. We're going to write it up. We got you. <laughs> All right, thanks for hanging out with thanks us. Anytime Wale. you want to come you, back, door is wide open. I appreciate open. it. Thank uh-huh. you, thank you, thank you. Give it up one more time, Wale. Yeah. Building. Chilling. Building. Why are you still cheesing? Because. Chisel. Talk to him. I like Wale. Hilarious. Like Wale. <laughs> it's Fox Old Radio. It is. Next uh, up, we have comedian Stephen Byrne is going to be in the building, y'all. Yeah. It's going to go down. All right, cool. We'll take a uh, quick, we'll get DJ some. DJ Always, it's New Music Tuesday. Let's hear some of that new music, man.